definite game of the year for me. I mean, hands down. I it's it's one of those that I just nothing nothing competes with it for me at the moment. And obviously I still I still love the other games that we play. I just haven't been feeling the itch to play MMOs recently as much as I have since Baldur's Gate came out. So for me, it's just consumed everything. And I just, I, I get the itch and I have to play. Speaking of, please stand for the national anthem. good i know i do this every stream but i just genuinely so fucking good <laughs> okay let's play the video game hi sven how you doing do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. so beautiful dawn for voice actor of the year down 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 by the river Inky Umbers, swirling Dolce Gabbana. I, got, I, I can't remember the words. <laughs> you love it, Jiro. Stop pretending. You love Valley Girl. And she loves you. Uh, are we getting engaged next year? I've already picked out my ring. I'll send you a link on WhatsApp. No one stopped me. Oh, what? oh I was bothering the hag now as well. Astarian. Oh. Watch your back. Sorry, and it's been like four days since I've seen your glorious form. Glorious. Oh, I leveled them up off stream, by the way, as well. Because I came on and they all had level ups. And when it comes to level ups, I spend ages just staring at all of the perks and looking through. So, Astarian, we've gone dual worlds. I think I took ability points both for Lazel and Karlak, just to buff up their strength even more. And then for me, alive, so that's progress. what did I take? I think I took Battlecaster, which will make sure my com concentration isn't interrupted. So I can like cast my wild shape without being interrupted. So I think that's what I took. Matter, Matter, welcome back. Thank you so much for 20 months of immortality. Glorious have they been and long may they continue. Welcome back. So, there we go. I feel like I'm really big. Am I really big? I feel like I'm bigger than usual. Oh, well, you get more dawn face than usual. So we were here in the swamp where we were confronted by the lovely old lady. I, I can't do an Irish accent, to be sure, to be sure. The lovely old lady from the camp. The one who offered us some soup, and I said, fuck that. No, I'm not drinking that soup. And she was here, and she was talking to two lads just outside of the swamp. And they were all like, oh, you kidnapped our sister. Give her back. And the witch was like, I don't know what you mean. I've never seen your sister. And, uh, yeah. Turns out she is a hag. She's a, she's a horrible, horrible hag. And uh, she has, in fact, kidnapped their sister, so... We're going to go and check it out. We did manage to dispel the illusion surrounding the bog. So we know that this is not, in fact, a lovely woodland filled with docile sheep. And there's actually just a bunch of red cap walking around pretending to be sheep. Behold. <laughs> a noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? I kind of want to record that and just put it as my text message alert because they do so many different variations if you go up to them. They have different bars that they do. Sometimes they're sad bars, sometimes they're happy bars, sometimes they're pissed off bars. So I'm just going to record a bunch of them and set them as text alerts. <laughs> Can't 
car like it proves. Can I just keep barring at him until he gets really pissed off? Bar yourself, gentlemen. All right then, off we go. No, I feel too big. I, I feel like I've taken a giant potion. Hang on, wait, I'm gonna shrink myself. Ah! Oh no, you saw behind the scenes. Spyro's poking through over there. Hello. It's because I moved my camera for taking some pictures of our cake that we made for Magic the Gathering. So I had to redo the setup. I think I'm, I think I'm adequately sized now. My immersion, the illusion is ruined. No, I really am here in the swamp with a starian in my dreams. Ahead. We met these brothers. Guess they didn't find their sis. Yup. Be ready. Whoever or whatever did this could be close. So I used to speak with dead on them last time. They didn't really give me any helpful information except to say it was it was the witch they called her the witch and that they still think she has the sister speak chick go chick yourself she doesn't want to talk to me very well hello You okay there? You alright? You having a having a day? Just having a day, aren't you? Oh, some delicious poisoned apples. So I think now I know they're poisoned because I did speak with Dead on the Brothers, and they said the apples. Don't eat the apples. So instead of just picking up red apples now, my character knows that they are definitely poisoned. Oh God, Anything there's so keeps? much blood. <laughs> I swear I already looted him. Oh yeah, we found the letter. I don't think my save was quite where I thought it was. Uh, Marina. She wanted to resurrect her, her, her dead husband, I think. That was the... That was the reason she came to the hag. She thought the hag might have the powers to help her. So if it didn't save where I saved last time, then I think I need to talk to them again, technically. I should have the necklace. The question is, do I actually have it on? No, I think we went back to camp and we got it from Gale. I remember something about that. We, we changed the party to get the amulet back. Because I'm not wearing it. Oh, okay, Karlak, hold here a second, Soldier. will you? Oh, come on. You don't mean that. No, I don't, but I, I just gotta go get this thing from Gale. He's useless, you know him. He stole it. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Poor Karlak. I love Karlak so much. I definitely expected her to be a typical barbarian when we when we saw her in in that trailer for the first time I was like oh yeah they've made a great big hard hunky barbarian who gets angry and throws things and shouts and yeah cool I know what that is that's fun but then you meet her in game and sh she is big and muscly and she definitely can throw things very well but she's also soft and squishy so soft and squishy and so apologetic about everything. She's a sweetheart. How can I help? Join me then. With pleasure. Lead on. Your hat still looks stupid, by the way. You have a level up. Oh god. What you got there? Oh. God, oh, wizards are so fancy. Every other class you level up and it's like, oh, you got some more health and like a cantrip. And then there's Gale and he's like, oh, I got a cantrip and two spells. <laughs> and a feat, darling. Right, what would you like? Yeah, true strike is kind of useful. 
Seeing as you never hit anything anyway, Gail. Let's take true strike for now. Misty stab, I love. Because positioning is so important in this game. Uh, read their minds. Ooh. Ah, these are my level two ones. Have not tried it yet. Oh, Featherfall. Featherfall's great. Uh, let's take Grease for now. I could always re-prepare. Two to learn as well. Choices, choices, choices. Magic Missile. Magic Missiles are great because you technically get three hits. So I say yes, having played a wizard in D&D, magic missiles, very good. Chill touch is good, but I feel like no one should be within touch range of me anyway. If they're close enough to touch me, I've done my job very poorly as a wizard. Because chill touch is, is a touch based spell, as far as I remember, unless I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> Shocking grasp. Mm. Not sure where it's gone. It's ranged, is it? What's the other one I'm thinking of? I remember I always took um, burning hands. I was like, oh yeah, that'll be so useful. Like I can literally make my hands burn and then just like touch people, yeah. And then I never ended up using it because no one ever got close enough. Ah, oh, shocking grass, that's probably what I'm thinking of. Enlarge slash reduce. Oh, I remember we did level him up last time. It just didn't save. And I chose enlarge slash reduce because we can make Karlak a giant woman. And that that's so worth it. So, yes, absolutely. Acid splash. Big woman. And then finally, Karlak can step on all of you like you've always dreamed. <laughs> you want a giant woman. Giant woman throws feather. Yeah, so she she's pretty good at throwing anyway because she's super strong. At the moment, she has 19 strength. And um, if you make her bigger, she gets more of a bonus on her throws and stuff, as far as I remember. Need to need to look at the stats for it, but she she will be just stronger and she will throw even better. So you can finish all of her turns by just chucking a random environmental object at someone. It's great. It's free damage. <laughs> Bone chill. Let's go with that. Um, Warcaster is one I took on the Druid. Your range attacks do not receive penalties from high ground rules. Ranged weapon attacks with weapons you are proficient with have a minus five penalty to their attack roll. He doesn't really need weapons that much. Spell snipe is good. You learn a cantrip and the number you need to roll a critical hit with spells is reduced by one. You can have that. Not that you need any more spells. You're just showing off at this point, but sure. Eldritch Blast. Prevent the target from healing. I've never really used this, but it, it does look like it could be good. Mm -hmm. That's again a melee range one. Thorn Whip my druid has. Uh, El Eldritch Blast? I mean, Eldritch Blast is cheap. And it's free, it's, it's free damage. Woo! All right, now give me your necklace. Long way from Waterdeep. Long way from Waterdeep. Send that to Bear Whisper. Get that in my inventory. Okay. Now go away. Sorry, Gail. We love you, really. We just enjoy being mean to you. It's just way more fun. Looking ahead. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. 
idling away the hours. Yeah, I go eat some dirt with Karlak. One day I'll catch a break. I really want to take Shadowheart though, because she's cool. Hey, yeah. hey, um, we're heading out. Come on. I wouldn't go without you. Hell yes. My girl. My girl. I wonder how it would look if you had a romance scene with enlarged car like and a reduced no main character. That is an interesting theory. That is that is a situation that would never have come to my mind. Um, I don't think spell effects persist in cutscenes, although I have remained as a creature in cutscenes sometimes as a druid. So maybe we, we should test this theory. F5. Thank you, Weeble. You can give someone Eldritch Blast with Spell Sniper. Eldritch Blast is so damn good. It's really cheap for what you get. It, it's good, good damage. And it's a cantrip, so it doesn't cost you a spell slot. Why do we need you anymore, Will? Gale has Eldritch Blast. You can't compete. I love Will, but he just doesn't have a place in my party at the moment. If I'm going to take my party, it's like I want to tank, so I'm going to take Lazel or Karlak. Uh, me, I come along. Starry has OP lockpicking skills. It's ridiculous. So he's worth bringing alone for the lockpicking. And he does some good damage. He's, he can get into trouble in fights, but he, he does some good damage. And then um, some kind of ranged wizardy type person. I'm probably going to take Shadowheart or Gale. Just because G Gale has so many spells and he's got so much utility even out of combat. He has loads of utility for getting around and platforming, so I normally end up choosing him. I'm sorry, Will. We love you, really. I, I will I will take you out next fight, okay? We'll take you for a little walk. You look great in that hat, by the way. And the horns, they really do improve you. They really do. For the lockpicking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just, uh, I mean, look at this man. He's, uh, he's really intellectual. He's great at um, lockpicking and um uh stealthing so yeah that's uh, i take him along for mechanical reasons that's why he always comes along Woo! it's a magnus Welcome back, Magnus. Thank you so much for 61 months of gloriousness and for being our resident bookworm. I don't know what we'd do without you. Welcome back. I met Neil Newbern at Insomnia. He's so cool. He's a really fun guy. I've been seeing all of the voice actors come up on TikTok because they all have TikTok accounts now. And I think they've all realized just how crazy popular the game is. And like, oh, I may as well make some fun TikToks. And they've been getting crazy likes going on. And so Carlax voice actress is on there. Uh, and also the one for Lazelle. She, she does some amazing TikToks. I love her TikToks. And there's recently been ones of them all together at Insomnia. And uh, I then instantly regretted not going to Insomnia. Because <laughs> I would have loved to meet them. I would have loved to meet them. But yeah, I decided no to Insomnia this year because there's so much going on in the Elven life right now and lots of new things happening. I need to work out how I'm going to balance them. And also it was around my birthday and I just wanted to have a kind of chill birthday and see my family. So, didn't end up going, but maybe next year for Insomnia. Insomnia really seems like the one to go to in the UK now. It used to be EGX. EGX used to be like the go-to convention. And Insomnia was like a really small one that was just mostly like land gaming and stuff. But now that it's it's pretty big. It's, it's even bigger than EGX is, it looks like. So, I shall consider, consider. There'll probably be an MCM as well. Also, MCM, I'm like, oh, I, I hadn't signed up to go this year because I thought, oh, I don't really need to go to any more conventions. I've done a fair bit of traveling this year for stuff. And I mean, I got to go to Belgium for Bell's Gate 3, and that was awesome. Um, but I thought, let's, let's, just, let's just chill for a bit, you know? There won't be too much going on at MCM. 
And plus, I don't have any cosplays for this year. So I don't really have anything to show off. And then they announced that Crit Roll's going to be there. And then they announced that the Baldur's Gate 3 cast is going to be there. And now I'm deceased. Maybe I can pop down there. Maybe. Maybe. They'll be at EGX as well. Wow, they're busy. They're very busy. Oh, um, about that. Uh, you, you know, um, you know Halson's voice actor, Dave? Well, you know the other day, like, Halson just casually dropped into my Twitter DMs. As you do. I'm not going to tell you why. Just, you know, dropped into my DMs. <laughs> freaking out casually as a bear yes it like dropped in and as he was falling he transformed into a bear i might have died i i, I might have died um but yeah uh you, you might hear some stuff soon potentially <laughs> but yeah i just i love all the actors and actresses that worked on Baldur's Gate. They're, they're all like really genuine and really passionate about their characters for sure. Now. Let's get going. Let's get going. Dawn, what the heck? How do you drop us news like this? Oh, no, no biggie. No, no, no biggie. I made a little squeaking sound. I was like, oh, who's DM me? It's, 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 it's probably, probably someone sending me a meme. And then I just look and it's him. I died. I actually died. Oh, there's a spike trap over here. But you know, if I possibly had any any information as to what that's about, I, I would maybe tell you soon, maybe. When I'm sure about such things. We'll see. Hmm. If I touch the shiny, let me touch the shiny. So I've already talked to the dead bodies. But it didn't seem to save them from our last session, so I'm just gonna make sure that we talk to them again. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Do you have any family? Imagine someone just brings you back from the dead to be like, oh, do you have any brothers and sisters? What did you do for work? I'd be so annoyed. Uh, I'm gonna ask him what killed him because I already know, but what? We'll <gasps> Wasn't a sheep. Nah. Nah. Did you actually find your sister? Oh yeah, anything I should be wary of. Don't drink the water. I thought so. Mm, did you find your sister? <gasps> Heard her screaming, but not real. And uh, where are you from? Farm out by Baldur's Gate. Oh, that's nice. Well, I really enjoyed our date. I think you're a really nice guy, but I'm just not feeling any chemistry here. Um, in fact, who are you? Dene. Okay. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Really nice meeting you, though, and like definitely keep in touch. So you're only using speak with undead, or are you utilizing more necromantic magic with your druid? We are using the amulet. So there is an amulet you can get, and it just gives you speak with dead for free. Here it is. The Amulet of Lost Voices. So I can't do it until I have another rest, I think. Oh no, I can recast. I did this last stream as well. I was like, oh, why can't I do it again? Completely forgetting the recast. There we go. What is your name? What is your quest? How did you die? Is the food safe to eat? Definitely not. What drove your sister to leave? She's scared she won't be a good mom. Oh yeah, I forgot. But she will. 
I know it. How did you actually plan on killing the hag? With pitchforks. Stupid. I could have told you that. And, uh, how do you even know she's here? The note. I'm kind of hungry. Is the food here safe to eat? Apples. So red. So delicious, but... Oh. Wouldn't recommend. How did he die? Looked so... Innocent. The teeth. The sheep. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite flavor of Ben and Jerry's? That's such an old meme. <laughs> so, I feel like I have to explain this now. Um, when we played Dragon Age Origins on the channel, we had a very emotional cutscene with one of the main characters like dying <laughs> and someone comes into chat during this scene new chatter and it's just like hi what's your favorite flavor of ice cream meanwhile i have tears running down my face <laughs> and i'm just watching this character who i've been with for like the past 50 hours dying so yeah Usually, whenever it comes up that someone's asking a really off-topic question, I will, I will, I will say something about what's your favorite flavor of ice cream, anyway. Standard first message, mm -hmm. real standard. What's the answer, though? Everybody needs to know. Um, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. So, I, I would say that probably Ben and Jerry's is my favorite ice cream. There are lots of flavors of Ben and Jerry's, though. I personally am partial to half baked which is chocolate brownie and also chocolate cookie pieces in a caramel vanilla ice cream. But you know the one I had recently that might be even better than half-baked? Dolce Delish. It's a new flavor. It's caramel, but it's got like white chocolate caramel pieces in and then also just like whole swirls of caramel and big chunks of caramel. It's really good. So if you have the choice to make, try Dolce Delish. I recommend. <laughs> ben Jerry's, I'll let Nara sit down. There's like a million flavors and we don't even have all the flavors here in the UK. The America has the best flavors. You have every flavor possible. But yeah, half-baked is good. As good as fish food. Yeah, I, I, I like fish food. Fish food is good. Fish food is like in the top 10. But one thing I will say about fish food chocolate in ice cream rarely works like actual chunks of chocolate because the chocolate gets too cold and then it just gets kind of hard and then it doesn't really taste like chocolate anymore so that is what fish food suffers from is you will be having this caramel deliciousness and then you'll come across chocolate and it's just kind of like very cold hard chocolate um i hate to say it but it's it's true it's true what to do anyway dead people what's your favorite flavor of ben and jerry's joel hope it wasn't apple oh dead sister is my favorite flavor too how did you know with eyeballs in there was another well here I have to put my hands on everything Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies mm. below. A great deal of it. Mm. Drink from the well. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? You have a look at it, Starion. You're just going to come to the same conclusion as me. You're delicious, darling. Fetid smell assaults oh. your nostrils. Dead flesh lies mm. below. A great deal of it. I just wondered if he'd have a different reaction as a vampire, but nope. No time to Not rest. Not interested in flesh. 
The flesh is too old, it's not succulent enough. There's no blood left. So this is the hag's hut. I'm wondering... There she is. Auntie Ethel! Definitely trustworthy. Can we see the sister? Not at the moment. Oh, there she is, there she is. Marina. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in here. I know that I probably want to kill the hag, but it is a very tough fight, from what I remember. What a day. What a day, what a day, darling. Do you feel like a bit of sneaking? Jumping. Push her in the oven. I'm sure we can arrange that. Very, very quiet. Letter from M. The letter begins in an elegant cursive that ends in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Ethel, forces are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. Not yet, at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleating of your ridiculous sheep. But if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. Hag sister. I'm guessing. Potion of greater healing. Oh, thank you. Take the letter as well. We might want to remember this. Okay, we're going in. Now, I don't think Ethel turns around. I think, oh, oh. Hush, hush, hush. I wonder if I can. Thing is, the problem at the moment is that she doesn't want to be free. She thinks that uh, Ethel is helping her. Auntie Ethel's looking after her. Ah, oh, there's another way in. Oh, hello. Got an arcane barrier around it. The one time I don't bring Gale, and Gale would know what the heck is going on here. Okay, well, I guess we'll leave that door for later. Can you pick it though, Starry? Easy. Easy indeed. He's so overpowered for lock picking. Hi, Pat. Welcome on in. Ah, oh, yes, this is the stealth set. Gives, gives a bonus to stealth. Ooh, bread. <gasps> Toad teapot. Well, that's adorably cottage core. You're coming home with me. Oh, hey, no, where are you going? I, I didn't want you to go through. I wanted you to take the teapot. Just take the... <sighs> no, why, why are you taking it from through the wall, Starry? What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're just determined to be a nuisance, aren't you? Spoiled treacle tart. Oh, now I want treacle tart. But we mustn't eat the food. I think it's all poisoned. Alright. Steal, steal, steal. Potion of speed. Ooh. An elixir of fire resistance. Don't mind if I do. Potion of animal speaking. They've left that there for a reason. Simple poison recipe. Ooh, lovely. I have long wondered about whether to publish any malevolent concoctions I have encountered. Nick Ross convinced me that the damn with that damnable smile of his, but it is true that the life of an adventurer can be made safer through a good offence. Please use this recipe responsibly, and do not cause any harm to other thinking creatures. Definitely didn't get into the wrong hands. Recipe for one vial of simple poison. Extracts needed vitriol of bone cap, ashes of dagger root. Method. Sprinkle ashes over vitriol. Do not stir. Cap the vial and wait until it exudes an acrid smell. And remember, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. I shall remember the rule of three.
The chafing must be unbearable with all that on. Oh, oh, that's why we oil him. We oil him up so nicely every night at camp. Why can we see what's on the other side of the door when it's closed? See, that's the thing. Like, normally you can just see through walls. Otherwise, I guess it would just get kind of annoying because I wouldn't be able to move my viewpoint around very much. But yeah, we can see. Although sometimes it's fogged. So if you're in a dungeon or something and you try and look through a door that's through a wall, it'll just be dark. The heck? Healing. Take that. The skimpier the armor, the greater the protection. Yeah, it's the bikini armor rule. The more flesh you have exposed, the less likely they are to hit. They're distracted. It makes perfect logical sense. Loot, loot, loot. What is this? Use the mirror. Looking perfect as always. <laughs> I assume. Not that I was looking. Looking perfect as always. Oh. I assume. Looking so fabulous. Oh, I was just checking that one of my balls hadn't escaped. I wasn't looking for vain reasons. God. Okay, so she also has a little sight cone. I'm not sure you want to go in and pickpocket her or anything, but I was wondering if we could sneak into the next section. The vampires don't have reflections. How does he know? Well, he said, I assume. So he wasn't actually looking at his reflection because he doesn't have one. He's just like, I'm probably looking wonderful, I assume, you know. Probably. The self-confidence, we, we love to see it. Okay. Now I know that this fireplace is not in fact a fireplace. And behind it, is a secret lair. So I have played Act 1 before, but it was a while ago. So I remember the big things, but the details are kind of hazy, but I know for a fact there is a secret lair under here. Question is, do we go and talk to Auntie Ethel? Or do we dare try and slip by? I'm sure we could do it. It would be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> No, it's not going to be easy. They'll probably see me. And even then, I don't want to be in the next section without my party. Oh god, that next section. Surprise backstab. Yeah, well, she's only got six health at the moment, but I know for a fact that's a lie. Mm. Cozy, if you're warm-blooded. He just missed something very important. Okay. She's gonna keep stealing things. She's not looking. Mistress of the night and friends. That sounds delightful. What's this book? Oh, a story. <clears throat> there once was a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage, but none could win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished for her daughter to find love and happiness. And then, her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her suitors stopped calling, her friends stopped writing, and she still cried. You poor child, Shah whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you. None but I. The woman spoke to Shah, who listened. She prayed to Shah, who answered. For the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And then Shah asked her to take a vial. A small vial, an innocent vial. She took the vial to a man the man filled it with a liquid and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Shah to love her, to be proud of her. 
and then people became sick. People died. But Shah loved her, and the woman loved Shah. Now men and women alike travel across the land to see her, not because she is beautiful, not because she is charming, but because she is a high priestess of Shah, and her word is law. Well, that was a turnaround. I thought we were getting a fairy tale, but that got kind of dark there. Whee! All praise Shah. I still don't know what the deal with Shadowheart is. I, I know she she does worship Shah, but I don't know quite how deep that goes. We shall see. And the fact that she can't remember who she used to be. Hmm. Hmm. She could have been someone very bad indeed. Climb on, use. Oh, that that's nice. Okay. You you missed something here though, Starry, like I, I feel like you you really you re missed the point here, my friend. Turn it off. Climb on. <laughs> you really can't see it, can you? Oh wow, fire resistance. You really are a different breed of vampire, Starry. Yeah, no, he completely missed it. Not great. Oh, hi, Marina. Some glass in here. Marina's locket. Oh, thanks. Should I take it? Bless the oblivious. Well, I don't really need the two golds you have. What's so special about your locket? Nothing much. Nothing much. Huh? Pickpocket, what do you mean? What do you mean? This is thief? No! <laughs> hey, hey, come here. See, see, this is a perfect plan. I, I, I'm letting her escape. Yes, Marina, run. Where did she go? She's gone this way. Wait, what? Where's she gone? She didn't go back to the hag, but she's not in the house anymore. What? Did I just help her escape? Just for a moment. I need fresh air. Please. Oh, sweetie, I'm just Oh, being she's cautious. back. She's back. I can't have anything happening to you or the babe. Hmm? Oh, she's definitely going to eat your feckin' baby. You best watch out, Petal. She'll ship cook it into a pie. What's sweeter than infant flesh? Nothing I tell you. Hello. Can I pickpocket the hag? That would be really ballsy, but, um, sure. F5. Hello, Marina. She doesn't mind me being here. She's she's fine with it. What have you got here? Can I just take her hag wand? Oh, she's got a lot of money. Uh, oh, God. I'd have to roll an 18. That, that that does not seem too advisable. Oh god, he's still doing hiding checks all the time. Hello there, Petal. Don't you, don't you be noticing me. I'm just gonna steal. What, you rolled a 19? Oh, you fixed right. That was wonderful, Sari, and you beautiful bastard. Right. Over here. I took a wand. Oh, shit. No. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Oh, no. Aunt Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. Oh no! You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh hi if there! It isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. That's you me. You best have one hell's of an apology for me, young man. I'll get no apology from me, Hag. Oh, you must have mistaken me for someone else. I mean. I look very similar to a lot of people, I have been told. Especially, you know, there's lots of people who wear this outfit from the same store, you know. It's not, it's not just me, it's popular fashion. So it's no wonder you recognize me. Yes, you must be uh, <laughs> mistaken. Uh, meanwhile, everyone else, can you come in, please? Because I don't want to deal with this on my own. I mean, she's distracted, so can we maybe get in the back and... Talk to the girl on her own? Because they're currently in a conversation. 
You are right, Marina. I think Marina is technically involved in this conversation. <gasps> it's not it? real. What a surprise. F5. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, okay. So as soon as I even go anywhere near it and reveal the illusion, she knows the jig is up. She enters hag mode and she won't be having it. Well, I say, I say. I finished my first playthrough. I need to have a second one with Shadowheart as a permanent party member. She is glorious. I need to bring her along more. I like her as a character. Oh, sorry, pet. You best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Oh, you um, you must have uh, you, you must have mistaken me for someone else. Hey, um, who took um, who took guidance? Can you? Would you mind? To turn the tide. Just a little, just a little touchy My touch. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yay. I. I've never seen you before in my life. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. Ooh. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. That's Marina? I have some bad news for her. The lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, my body can you be busy if you want it to problems. be. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Don't change the subject. Why is that woman really here? I told you that girl is none of your business. Keep that hole under your nose shut. I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Fine. Can you remove the parasite? Quicker than you can say yes, auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Oh, yes, because I definitely trust you. I definitely trust you. You're such a lovely woman. And you offered me soup once. And you're definitely not holding this woman captive. No, Auntie Ethel looks after her own, doesn't she? Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. No, I know for a fact she's talking out of her ass. She can't actually do it. Now, um, spoilers ahead. Cover your ears for the next five seconds if you don't want spoilers. One, two, three, four, five. We're in spoiler land. So if you do agree to her deal, then she cannot even cleanse the parasite. She can't do it. She says it's beyond her powers. And uh, maybe maybe there's someone else that you can go to near Baldur's Gate who'd be able to do it. And you actually end up having your eye plucked and it gets put back in, but you have a hag eye. So I can't remember what it gives you disadvantage to, but it gives you disadvantage to something. Um, but I think you get like some kind of magical ability. Can't remember. Um, but yeah, she, she can't do it. You can't crit, yeah. It's something like that. Oh, and you're intimidating, yeah. Because obviously you have a weird magic-y haggy eye. Minus one perception as well. Yeah, because it's not really an eye. Um, will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. Oh, that's a very poor bargain. I'll, I'll try my luck elsewhere. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. 
Auntie Ethel is here for you. Oh, thank you so much. She's so lovely. Oh. There's a pickpocket operating nearby. You More. feel the arrow of <laughs> suspicion pointing your way. I don't know anything about any pickpocketing. Yeah, let's try and talk our way out of this. I assure you, my fingers aren't nimble enough for pickpocketing. Yes. I'm literally a rogue, but yeah. Critical success. Oh, yeah. You walk free for now, but your stories won't Me land and my so natural well 20s. if you're caught again. Oh. I won't be caught again. It won't happen. It doesn't happen. I'm a criminal mastermind. So, watch your back. Marina got transformed into a creature or something. I don't know where creature oh. Marina's gone though. Marina. Because if she's a creature, I can talk to her. Did she get teleported? Oh, actually, yeah. I seem to remember her getting transformed into like a squirrel or something, but I think she's through here. The question is, can we make it through here? She's looking that way. We could do the, the cat method. At least things have stayed interesting. Works every time. And then I just choose somewhere very far away. Very well. You guys, you've got to stay away from me. I'm the you distraction. The rest of you go this way. Repositioning. You can party up with Sari now as well. All's well that ends. Okay. Not as bad as it could have. Meow. <laughs> Here she comes. Everyone, through, through, through. Don't, no, don't. Just, just walk on the... God damn it. Go in, go in. Shh, is everyone in? Starry? Good. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting Haha, <laughs> Meow Strat triumphs again. And now I wonder if she minds if I sneak in there as a cat. These boots have seen everything. These boots are made for walking. Will she mind if a cat goes in her secret place? No, excellent. And we're in. The heist is complete. I suggest we all sneak, though. Let me be cautious. Me and Starry are the stealth team. We'll go in together. You guys wait here. We're gonna we're gonna test the lay of the land. Are you guys still following me? Are we still grouped? Wait. Go away. Right. And then Starry, you wanna join me? trying to concentrate. Sorry. Come on. Sneaky. Can't believe that worked. Cat strat always works. Never fails. Rogue's muscle. Well, hello. Time to put those out. Helps with the stealth. Stepping softly. There's a couple of enemies down here. Oh, it's spooky. A starry in ASMR channel. When? Sometimes I just click him when he's in stealth mode really? no. so I can hear his lines. Let's have some fun. Hello, Paul. Welcome on in. Can I please work for you? Uh, we, we are looking uh, for cannon fodder for the hag, if you want to volunteer. Okay. Down here. Stop. Please. Please. Away. Away. That's... 
skull looks cursed as heck. Let's touch it. No. Oh, my sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Well, that's nice. I, I don't really think there's any way I can help you there. I mean, I could attack the mirror and break the mirror. See the shadowed outline of a figure. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna attack it. You are as <gasps> thick as they come. How do you suddenly know I'm in here? This is my personal place. Oh no. And you don't have an invite. Get out. Oh, thick. Oh, thick. She's seen us now. I thought break the mirror, break the curse. But I don't know if it worked. We'll have a bit more of a sneak around first. Listening to a star in whispering will make me feel feelings. The first time it happened, I was like, oh, oh dear. Oh no, my loins. Oh dear. They will never recover. Stop. Please. Oh! My darling man, she wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crushed me. Don't look. Don't. Can I take the my head? darling Magrim? She wished for the mind of a genius, but that. Oh! Oh my God! Oh God! The thread of this elf. Uh, the thread. <laughs> I can't words today. I need more coffee. <clears throat> the head of this elf is ice cold, mouth frozen mid scream, eyes wide with abject terror. Well, that's nice. Definitely not cursed. Shall I, shall I take the definitely not cursed skull as well? Yeah, nothing, nothing bad can happen. Well, she doesn't seem to mind me taking the cursed skull. Oh, it's just a normal skull. It doesn't say that it's particularly especially cursed. That will look very chic in my tent. Hello? Are you okay there? Away! Away! I didn't want to pickpocket you. No, no, no. I didn't mean to. I just, I want to, I want to talk to you. No. No! Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Uh, are you all right? Oh, there's a special elf perk here. What ails you? I see it. I see what's to come. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Did he ask to see the future, maybe? I just see your reflection. No. Future. Bone splitting. Knife twisting. Skull screaming. Future. God's. Hi. Don't hurt me! Oh, please, 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 please! Speak in your mother tongue, try and calm him. Yes, Astarian, whisper him sweet nothings. Ah! No! Stop! Trick, trick, trick! They're the monster! Monster! For mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind flayer! 
Look at me. I'm not a mind flayer. He's not going to believe me. Oh, you know, if Gale was here. You are oh, as thick as they Why do you know I'm here sweetness. now? Come on. How do you know? You didn't even talk to me before. How does she know? I think it's just if you do any big, loud action in there and come out of stealth, she knows. <sighs> Stay in stealth. Keep it quiet. Yeah, just a naked man and a cat. Just normal things. I was wondering if I could come out of that form and then talk to them, but it seems not. Away! Away! Don't look, my Don't. gentle Lauren. Uh. He wished to know what was to come. Stop, please. A thief who please. tries to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards Away. my home. Away! Don't Still look. Don't! Stop! Please! Please! Hmm. Nice words. Away! Away! I'll talk to you. No! No! Don't look! I still realize. Oh! Me! Dead! Dead! He realized about the illusion. Bone shining! Gods! Don't hurt me! Your mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind, mind flayer. No. no. Clearly not a mind flayer. Mind flayer. Get away. Get away. Clearly just a rogue in bondage gear. All right, fine. Clearly has no idea what he's talking about. Don't look. Don't. I'm guessing we can smash the mirrors, but then she Stop. is going to know about Please. it. This blue mask. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Soft, unintelligible whispers seep from the dark wood, ringing in your ears and resounding in your skull. Oh yeah, we should definitely put that on. Try, try it on for size, sorry. Oh! Hello, pet. <gasps> my, my. The mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. Oh, shite. What's that gone and done now? <laughs> oh, no. Sweet one. Serve your dear Auntie Ethel. Oh, she's what? doing mind control. Hag's porn. Of rot oh, is a slap no. To the face. Suddenly she is there. Beside you. Behind you. Inside you. Yes, I have you now, Petal. Don't worry. <gasps> Auntie is going to take good care of you. What the heck is going on here? Don't look. Tempted by Ethel's whispers. Don't. Constantly taking wisdom saves. Oh, God. Okay, okay, well, good to know. A siren had it coming. You leave my boyfriend alone. Leave my sweet elvish prince out of this. He just wanted to wear the pretty mask. Did uh, you put the mask on or just fail a roll? I put it on and the whispers started, I'm pretty sure. So actually wearing the mask gives you the whispers. I was wondering if there's anything in here that I can then solve if I have the mask on though. Yeah, I put it on on purpose. I wanted danger. Oh, a blinded elf. Steal from dead. Um, hey, can you use that spell whilst you're in this form? I guess you can't. Could you give the necklace to Starry instead? We'll do a swapsies. Okay. 
Can I not? Can I not? Oh, I can't unequip it right now. Can't be changed right now because I'm shapeshifted. Damn it. I think if I leave, Ethel will see me immediately. I'm into a corner. Stealth, okay. And then we're gonna recast Speak with Dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Is there anything I should know about this place? Good advice. Why did you go to the Hag? My family took her. My baby girl. Pretended she never existed. Told Ethel never wanted to see them again. She took my eyes. Oof. Why did your family take your child? They didn't like me having something they couldn't touch. What can you tell me about Ethel? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters without baby girl. Aww. You have to be careful what you ask, Givanti Ethel. Watery eye. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Oh. Well, she technically fulfilled this the promise. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Oh, she definitely halted it. Stopped it right in its tracks. Don't mind if I do. Pickpocket failed. No pocket to pick because he's literally made of stone. I wonder if we can free you somehow though. I guess maybe if we kill Ethel, you'll all be freed. Petrified. Are there any spells that would um, stop petrification, I wonder? I don't think I have them. Hey mud. Hey metal. It's coffee today. It's a it's a very watery coffee day. Oh my god, speaking of coffee, Valley Girl what? has been summoned. I love it. Did you know Epic? It's pumpkin spice season. Mm-hmm. Although I have caramel Please. in my coffee rather than pumpkin spice because it's not quite fall weather yet, you know. What? When I get to this stage where I can just like put on a nice snuggly jumper, curl up, watch Girl More Girls Don't. with my pumpkin spice, oh. I am happy in life, Don't. you know? Well, I kind of want to help him, but also mm, I don't want to anger my auntie. Like we're, we got on so well. Oh my God, gnarly, a gnarly cauldron. Let me touch it, F5. The Dank Urge. Oh my god. What if we played Dark Urge but as Valley Girl? And like all the conversation options, I had to be like, oh my god, I was gonna help you, but I totally just wanna murder you and drink your blood. Praise Ball. Use. No thanks. I said use it, bitch. I wanna see what's inside. What's in the basket? Is it a picnic? Like a summer picnic? Like some kombucha and a baguette? No. Shocking. Oh, wow. I didn't mean to pickpocket you. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Hi, Salty. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? Good to see you. I mean, there's probably some way to help you, but my party is really busy right now. Although, I don't want to go through here without them. Oh, Lazal! Are you two just like chilling back here? Okay. Well, stay sneaky. 
but come here. Do I want to know why Asterion's naked? He's not naked. Can you see? He's wearing, like, Hokachar. Yeah. That's the latest from, um, uh, Victoria's, uh, uh, deception. Yeah. I've been to their store in Baldur's Gate. So fetch. It actually goes stealth bonuses. Don't look. Okay, everybody group up. Pretend you like each other. Okay. Star, you go first, darling. Open the door. Please. Please. Open up the safe. Bitch has got a lot to say. You feel the bare touch of magic. Wild and chaotic. Beneath the twisted surface of the door. Look. Don't. What if I touch it? Like, cause I'm magic. You feel the barest touch of magic, wild and chaotic, beneath the twisted surface of the door. Yeah, I mean, I get it, bitch. It's magic. What about it? Wait. What about Wait. it? Like, I could probably go through there if I wanted to. God, Amelia. Don't. We knew it was magic. Come Don't. on. A little bit more info. Come on. I did get through there in early access. I'm trying to remember what is going on with it. If this guy could just shut up one second. Like, I know you're literally dying, but we're busy. Can I move these? Don't look. I'm starting to think Don't. that, like, I have to break the mirror. So, Starry can do a sneak attack, Please. like a ranged sneak. Please. So, maybe that's what we do. No? Really? Seriously? Oh my god. Don't no. Oh, I should be able to Don't. attack this one though. But I can't do it from sneak. Stop. And the hag's probably Please. gonna see me. Please. Ah, oh, I hate it. Throw the mirror. Yeah, throw it on the floor. Wait. Wait. Get it out of here. <laughs> Smack. Wait, did the Don't hag not see that? Look. I mean, the mirror is Don't. gone. That's not a problem anymore. The brow it. Stop. Please. Please. Oh my god. He nearly threw it at me. <laughs> Away. Away. Can I look in it? Don't. Examine. Look. Resistance. Oh my god. Poison resistance, psychic resistance, piercing resistance. Stop. That is a lot of Please. resistances for a mirror. Can I just throw it? Oh my oh my god. Examine. <laughs> there we are. I feel much better now. Sorry, I just had to get it out of my system. Don't Sometimes it just look. has to be done. Don't ASOS had a very similar harness a few weeks ago, 50% off. Oh, I'll have to pick it up for my Femistarian cosplay. That's definitely happening. Mm hmm. Away. Away. I wonder if I can just turn the lights off and then he can't see anything. Step quick. I mean. Oh, no. You feel crushing oh. waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. Oh. You can't let people through. Not again. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him oh my God! limb by limb. She cackles. The man's remaining flesh, twisted and contorted, mm. becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. The man became the door. Flee, you feel it cry. Oh, I'm not afraid of no hag. I wonder if my druid would be better at talking to this man, since he has become a tree and my druid's a tree hugger. I'm not afraid of no hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. 
Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. Oh. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Oh dear. I mean it. Let me through. All right, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders the warning. Run. <laughs> I kind of failed. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. I don't think he believes I can. Too many have tried and failed. Ooh. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. It's not real. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Don't! It worked. I think it worked. Stop! Where are you? I'm still wondering how I can help this man. I wonder if, if we cast darkness or something? If potentially, like, he wouldn't be able to see whatever he's seeing Away. anymore. Away. But I don't think we have anyone in the group who has it. Maybe we have a flask of darkness. Scroll of darkness. So, I mean, I could learn it or cast it. Oh, not as a Starion, as me. You okay? No. Ethel, I'm sorry. I'll go back. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh. To do. Uh, so that helped. Right? Uh So he can't leave. Um what has he got on him? Is this still the scrolls? Ah, oh, the scrolls! Oh, and a flute! That's really nice. I guess maybe if we went and killed the hag and then came back, he might actually be able to be freed? I feel bad. I have to try. Another person saved by the sweet embrace of death. Ah, it is a good Saturday. We've been very productive today. I don't know where the girl has gone. She must be deeper inside. I'm kind of worried that we've doomed her now. Stop! Oh, here he goes again. Okay. Well, at least the door's letting us through now. I don't know if it technically did that conversation. There we go. You Do it with bare whisper. Waves of fear as the presence within the door images flash. His cries for mercy she cackles, become yeah. You feel it. That cutscene is so gory. It wasn't in at the time I played during early access, so that's the first time I've seen that. I'm not afraid of no hag. Weapons, breath, scream. You let them in. Naughty. That's a death. You see an image of blue skies and sun. Its form Run. flickers. And you realize that the door is transparent. I can see through you. I can just walk right in. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Look, don't... Sorry. Stop. It had to be done. Please. Please. I've got to try and help everyone. F5. The hag is gorgeous. She's beautiful. Away. Away. Sexiest swamp witch there ever was. And I think her sister is single if you're in the market, Mud. Oh, for me. Oh, God. This. I remember this. I'm trying to stealth. You're not helping. Keep it down. Wait. I remember these. It's 
So they patrol around here, and they're the masked people. I can kind of see them. How much health? 28. Thing is, I think if we somehow remove the masks, they're okay again. I don't know whether Starry can sneak in and pickpocket the mask off of them. Trust no one. So that then we free them from the visions. I might try though. Just to see if it works. Drift right. Stop. Please. I just came into Astarian's naked ass. Happy Saturday. Isn't that just a treat? I I always I always come in Astarian's naked ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was right there. It was right. I I couldn't. I... Phrasing! Right, um. <laughs> Let's see if I can climb this. Is it climbable? Or jumpable? Too high. Uh, ooh. Turn based is probably the way to go here. Who can see me through a rock? Which is the best one to sneak up on? I think there's three of them. This one is probably the best one to sneak up on. I was going to try and sneak up to anyone. Oh, wrong button. Did not mean to do that. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to do that. I, I tried to press the turn based and I pressed the wrong button combo. But why, hello there, Elvin. How are you doing? We're enjoying some Baldur's Gate and chill today. I just thought, long Saturday Baldur's Gate stream? Yes, please. Even though I can think of nothing else but Baldur's Gate, I haven't been able to put any solid time into the game during the past few weeks. Like, at launch, we played for a long time. And then I just had so much going on the past couple of weeks and so many different games are playing, so it's time. Stop. Please. You can toggle your non-lethal attacks if sneaking is being a butt and you don't want to kill. Well, hello. You can knock them out, can't you? I forget where the toggle is for that, though. It's somewhere. Toggle hotbar lock. It's somewhere. I don't know where. It's in passives. Ah, knock someone unconscious instead of killing them. Bonk. But I'm guessing you still have to do the full damage to kill them. Even if you're not killing them. Ah, ha, ha. Thank you, Draco, as well. And Ragnarok. Like time. See, I always resort to murder. Okay, let me go turn base. It's shift space, right? Shift space? There we go. I pressed control space before, which is why I went into combat. Okay. This probably is not a good place to stand, but uh, he's pretty good at sneaking, so he should pass the roll. Okay, this is a tight spot. Um, can you get up here? Are they going to immediately see me? Probably. Not enough movement. I mean, I could take a risk and see if I can get over here. My stealth isn't going to... Oh! <laughs> Failed the stealth roll already. I think we need to find another way around. Or we'll just wait for the right time. It's a delicate dance, stealth. It's kind of hard not to kill people with lightning and fire. I can't imagine Starry being able to knock someone out. Unless he had a a poison or a potion. His little his little weedy arms just strangling you until you fall asleep. Don't look. Don't look. Did I switch? Bonky bonk. Not lethal damage. Oh heck, I'm oh. Okay, forget that. Okay, now go. Now go. Now go. Oh, oi, oi, oi. oh no. Should have gone. Should have gone. Should have gone. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Come on. Come on. Woo! Hiding successful. We love to see it. Okay, now we're going turn based. Uh, shift. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna see if this is possible. Let's have a I just need to know. 
No. Okay, so I can't pickpocket the mask off them. But I can bonk them. So... Keep your blade close. If I were to go with my stealth strike, it's just going to knock them out, right? Uh, that was a lot of blood for knocking someone out. Is <laughs> Why is your guy wearing bondage gear? He's not. That's his stealth armor. It gives him bonus stealth. It's really good. If you manage to find it in game, definitely put it on. It, it's technically uh, Lazelle's stealth set. But yeah. Oh, hang on a second. I have my alerts muted. Please hold. <gasps> oh yeah! Vlad, welcome to the Wisps. Thank you so much for willingly handing over your soul. In return, I can offer you the glory of immortality for the next 30 days. And I promise that it is 100% not a trick like the Hag's magic. You will actually be immortal and you'll be transformed into a bright, shiny creature formed of pure soul energy known as a Wisp. Welcome back to immortality, where you were always meant to be. I can't see the armor advantage. It's uh, it's aerodynamic, so he actually makes less noise when he moves because it's only his butt cheeks rubbing together rather than like the fabric and any heavy armor. And uh, yeah, if he needs a speed boost, then there's actually a special ability. I haven't got it on my bar at the moment, um, but he just does like a toot, like a, um, a really like long wet fart. And then it just propels him at twice the speed. So you actually get a movement bonus. Um, whereas obviously if you had the clothes on, the fart wouldn't make it through the fabric and then you wouldn't have the propulsion. So yeah, tip for anyone who's playing Baldur's. Good to hear. Yeah, I recommend it. It's it's a really hard set to find. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, one hundred percent works. Yeah, you can use the cheeks for thunder strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what you do is you you just get a um gale with a ladle, right? And then you just go. Whoosh on the butt cheeks and they kind of vibrate and ping together and it, it actually creates a, a, a super sonic um vibration which deafens your enemies yes cheek clap far superior to thunderstrike cheek cheek clap Quietly. the lesser used cantrip true story 100 percent mm -hmm. too high don't I have a potion that like doubles jump distance? What have I got? I've got so many potions that I barely ever use. So let's see what I can do. I can become a big Astarian, but that's probably not going to help. Speed, accuracy. Flying. Gain the ability to fly. Is that forever? It's single use. I'd, I'd like a starion to be able to fly. What could go wrong? Sure. Try it. Potion of flying. For ten turns. Ah, oh, tragic. So now that I can fly... Can I fly in stealth? Is that a thing? <laughs> okay, I mean I can, but directly into the enemy vision cone is not going to be helping me. It's a flying elf in his underwear. Thunderstrike plus toxic cloud equals fireball. Heck yes. Just combine the magic effects. Just like in Divinity. Okay, let's try that again. Think happy thoughts, Astarian, and you'll fly. Fly away like a magical fairy. Hey, where is it again? Fly. Push in a flying. There you go. Enjoy. 
You're so welcome. Okay, so looking at the vision cones, it's not often that anyone can look up here, so I think I'm going to go up there. And then I can always fly when the time is right. Ooh. That's so cool! Please, Stealtho, please. Why? <laughs> Half of my streams are just me reloading. I'm a save scummer, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. This game was made to be save scummed. He looks so cool when he flies. Stealth fell. Yeah, I mean, it might be the case that when we activate fly, it just gets rid of stealth and then we can't stealth again. But it looked like he, he was still stealthing for a second. Let me quick save after I've given him the potion this time. The other one with wings on. There it is. Drink up, drink up. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Whee! So graceful. Are you still stealthing? Because I can't work it out. He is hiding. He's just not doing the crouch. Okay. Hmm. Switch to bonk damage. Although it's very unlikely that he would be able to take them out with a bonk by himself. Oh, you know what I forgot? Cat meta. We could have used cat meta to get through here. I always just kill them all, it's quicker. They're dumb enough to put on the mask, so. Wow! Maybe they just liked the fashion and they, they didn't know. This is new as well, so I want to try it. I can blind enemies as a dire raven. I've not used it. I'm going to have a little go. So... I've got beak attack and then rend vision. But I don't know if that will get us into combat because I'm wondering if I can blind them and then a starring can come up and knock them out. But it probably will start combat, to be honest. Oh. And they don't like birds. So rude. Maybe I will have to kill you after all. Or at least knock you out. Don't worry, I'll blind him. Now she knows we're here. I'm almost out of world shape. Oh yeah, right by world shape. Mm, that went well. Okay. Okay. We're going to fight them, but with non-lethal damage. And I'm just going to position myself a little bit better so that we can take them out. We'll still let Starry go in and stealth. Hi, Chand. Welcome on in. Are your ears really that pointy? Have you never seen an elf before? Can we get an exclamation mark elf in chat? I'm delighted to inform you that elves are in fact real. We've been around for a very long time. Been on Earth longer than you humans have, at least. Okay, I'm not sure that world shape is the one for this fight, then. Maybe I'll I'll stick to it for now. Starry's already up there. Soldier. I kind of wish Gale was here, and then we could make Carl like a giant woman. Okay. I say we charge in with Karlak. Or we try and get everybody up somewhere high and do range damage until we really have to fight them. She can shoot from here, so. Long and low. Fifty percent chance to hit. I like those odds. <laughs> Let's get closer. Oh, non-lethals. Let's see if we can turn that on. 
Oh, there we go. Bog mode activated. And then I want to go... 100% chance. There we go. Yes, Karlak. Slay. Okay. Everyone's got initiative now. They haven't seen Starry and somehow they haven't seen Lazelle. Well done, Lazelle. It's weird. I can fly as a bird, so I can go all the way up here. But I do have to be close to rend their vision. This one has a bow, so I'm thinking of rending them. Another <laughs> there we go. And now that'll take them out for a turn. They're gonna struggle to deal with me. <laughs> oh my god, the range on this bird is amazing. It's so cool. I can get anywhere. Can I get back up here though? Mm, yes, this turn I can. Good. Stay out of trouble, you. All right, Starry. Time to kill my love. 96% chance. Okay. Do it. Nicely done, pretty boy. Chick. Get moving. Chick. Charge. Rush attack. Yeah. Get him. Knock them off balance. There we go. Starry's turn again. Okay, you stay there. Don't get into too much trouble now. Karlak, go smash things, giant woman. I mean, we could keep you back here for now. You're not that bad at ranged attacks. Meow, 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 meow. Legacy of Avernus would be overkill right now. Is it two to nine, actually? Yeah, let's try it. Ah, nice try. I am death. I am Lacel. Can you can you poke him or throw something at him? You can throw something at him if you want to. Shove him. <laughs> I like it. I won't do it. Don't make me hurt them. Okay. Go and pick out their eight balls. Has this one got a range weapon? No. Let's fly. I'm gonna go behind her. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Uh-oh. Cat singing on point. I know, and Mog wasn't even around to hear it. Oh, opportunity. I kind of forgot that was the thing, you know, being crow and everything. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, bye. Let's turn someone inside out. Oh, lovely. Let's do that, shall we? Who should we go for, my pretty? Go for this one. Ah. Ah, you're not actually stealthed right now. You tricked me. Uh, can you stealth as your bonus action? Hiding success. And now just hit. There you go. Oh! I have heard some Astarian hate on the internet recently, saying that he's useless in combat. Lies. You just know, don't know how to use the poor sweet boy. Make sure you're, you're stealthing at the end of your turn. It's free. Hmm. Just charge, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, just just go up to them. You don't need to do the reckless. Just just do the normal one. Immobile, frightened. Oh, I'm frightened. Oh dear. For one turn. Okay. Well, I, I guess we are doing a ranged hit then. It's probably going to miss. Yeah. 
Yeah, the debuff. Not good. Astarion and Lazel are beasts in combat. Lazel gets so strong. Especially with Action Surge as well. It's mad. Okay. Well, I might Action Surge, actually. And then just do another basic. Knocked out. There we go. One down. Taking position. I can... How's, how am I doing? Six hit points. I think I'll be okay. Don't make me do this. I'll break their pretty little bones. Oh, God. Stop talking about breaking my bones. Cutting to the chase. Are you passed out or actually de knocked out? Good, good, good. I'm not in for murder today. I've missed this. I missed you, darling. Ah, how did I miss? Oh. Shocking. Come down here, though. It's time to stab things. I did spec him into dual wield, so he can dual wield daggers, well, and rapiers later on as well, which, so with the dual wield, you get to, um, like, wield something that normally you wouldn't be able to, that you wouldn't have proficiency for. I can't remember the description, but something like that. So he would be able to do it with two rapiers. Yes. Yeah, Janelle's saying in chat, two rapiers, you get a sneak attack and two offhand attacks every round. It's OP, which is why I'm doing it. <laughs> you know me, I will cheese as much as I can. Okay. No choice but to keep going. Oh, hello, Moogle Moo. Have you come to join the fight? Do you crave violence? I have some violence right here for you, Moogle Mug. Let me move you, though. You're, you're taking up space on my action bar, Mug. There you go. The Lady of Darkness has arrived. The Acolyte of Shah. Let me let me make sure your camera's right. You can't you can't be um blurry on your close up. Oh, lovely. Yeah, work your angles, Mug. Lovely. We love to see it. You know, Shah would be a great name for a cat. If I were to get another void cat, which, to be honest, I love void cats so much now, I want to collect them. So yeah, Moogle and Shah, and Skooma. Skooma is, is definitely going to be a thing, by the way. I, uh, I am going to have a cat called Skooma. It's, it's going to happen. <laughs> let's spill some blood. Ooh, bloody. Well, let's end for now, unless... Do you want to just get behind this tree root just for safety? Come on, can't stay idle. Ah. Oh no, I'm so scared. I remember this fight being a lot worse, which is why I was avoiding it so much, because I just remember it being hell. Moogle's bored. She's always dissatisfied. Unless there's treats involved. Can I jump up there? Smack him. Oh, nice. Take the mask. Now I can loot the mask. You can't pickpocket it from them, but you can loose it. Take off all his clothes. There we go. So, oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I have non-lethal damage on, why are you dead? I... I... It said knocked out. But it says dead. Before you looted him. I am fury. I am dead. Wait, does looting people kill them? Open up. Maybe taking the mask killed them. Let's see. Oh, God, yeah, it does. <laughs> Taking the mask kills them. Read the combat log. Uh, where do they put the combat log these days? It's here, isn't it? Mask of Servitude's mind collapsed. Oh, Jesus Christ. After going to all of that effort not to kill them, I can't, I can't kill them. She doesn't want anyone escaping now. 
Definitely not. I blame the cat. Yeah, it was clearly Mog's fault. How dare you? Are you in league with the hag, Mog? Always falling victim to dark curses you are, my child. Oh, good itch. Good scratch. Mm. Well. I have a lot on my mind. Let's try that again. Karlak, run in there, distract them. Light as air. See how close you can get before they see you. Non lethal is on. Hello. Oh, Karlak succeeded in hiding. I'm so proud of you. Go and bonk someone. Well, well. Look what we have. Here. Oh, yeah, no, that was never going to work. How is she still hiding? I mean, that worked. Okay. Ooh. Good thing he can't shoot. Okay, a caca. Let's crow in. I'm sorry. Uh, Let's go. And we're hiding again. Swift and lethal. Yes, Lazel. Show them. Where is your charge? Stab them. You can't rush. You are immobile. Shh, useless. Frightened. Oh yeah, she's frightened. She can't really do anything. Hey. Can I do goading? No. Well, that's a bit rubbish. I can't do anything this turn then. Unless someone else can dispel. But I don't think they can. Okay, I'll just sit here and do nothing. Don't make me do this. Yeah, you can press shift to see the vision combs. At this point, I didn't really care. I was like, when they see me, they see me. I don't care. We'll see if she rolls successfully. A big pee pee, a giant dong, a massive wa ha 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 A big pee pee. Okay, go for this. Okay, well that did nothing. Excellent. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Do you just want to push her for the rest of your turn? Sure. Shove him. You will, though. Native English speakers, how do I say get lost in the music in a nicer way? Uh, that is that is the phrase you'd use. Like if you were really emotionally attached to a piece of music and you were swept up in it, you, you would say, oh, sometimes I get lost in the music. That, that makes sense in English. Yeah, like I lose myself in music or, or you could say I lose myself in a really good book. That phrase also makes sense or being swept up in something is also a colloquial phrase for losing yourself in something. Getting swept up in the moment, getting swept up in the music. Can I do it now? Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh, the counter attack though. How do welcomes you, dearie? extra reaction that's why because they're vengeful that hurt quite a bit uh, i might action surge sure ah damn it i was hoping i could take her out this turn that's fine take the potion Into stealth. You're not stealth, darling. You sure? Oh, I guess they immediately saw me. This is fine. Why don't you throw something at them? What should we throw at them? Salami. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be so bad at this. 50% chance. 
Who deserves the salami? You. Let's go. <laughs> I missed, but it was great anyway. They're already blinded. Let's peck. Peck, peck, peck. And I will stay here. Sure. Smash him, Karlak. Adagal. Uh, do you just want to do a... Do you just want to do a normal attack, or are you going to be fancy? 14 health. You could do your fancy one. Hang on. Do a reckless. Go on. Oh, that was not great. Shove. If in doubt, shove. Yes, auntie. I'll break their pretty little bones. Oh. Oh no, don't don't let her do things. She's horrible. Dead? What happened to the bonking? I'm so confused. I didn't even touch her mask. We have bonk mode on. See? The salami... Are you saying the salami killed her? The salami missed. The salami didn't even hit. I'm quite sure the salami didn't hit. It missed for five damage. Salami missed and then did five damage. What? What is going on? Okay, even if the salami hit, it shouldn't have killed her. Salami splash damage. What? <laughs> no one wants salami splash damage. No. Dying by salami splash damage is a way to go. Let it be known. If I am to expire at any point from unnatural causes, let it be salami splash damage. Range attacks can't be used non-lethally. So I killed them with a salami. Deadly salami splash damage. <laughs> also, hi, Faith. I'm so glad that you're here to fill us in about the specific mechanics of salami splash damage. Without you, what would we do? I need to reload again. I can't believe I killed her with a salami. <sighs> Let this be the moral of the story. Be warned, all of ye, of salami splash damage and the dangers of this salami. Salami is too strong. Salami needs nerfing from game. Hello, I come bringing my salami knowledge. I can also wield a salami as a melee weapon. So therefore, can I wield two salami with the jewel wield perk and just smack people with salami? Can we give Astarian two salami? Because technically he has jewel wield. How much damage does the salami do? I never get sidetracked ever. Salami splash damage for everyone. Ooh, salami! My caps lock is on for no apparent reason. Okay, uh, one to two damage. Uh, oh, one, two, one, two, four minus two. Yeah, that's amazing damage. One chance to get the roll and then, then also um, two maximum, basically. Hmm. Some, that's, some, that's some strong damage there. Astarian salami will be feared throughout Faerun. And yet throwing it does five damage. I don't know. How did it end up doing damage when it missed? No one knows. I'm going to need to look back at that VOD and see what happened. Salami is a strength based weapon. Oh, that'll be why. What's what's a finesse based weapon for Astarian? Maybe like um like a breakfast sausage rather than a salami? Maybe maybe if we give him a couple of breakfast sausages. Baguettes? Baguettes definitely seem like they would be finesse based weapons. You know, you're like... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Aerodynamic. Yes, baguettes. Pancakes? Oh, yeah, we could use like pancakes like shurikens. Just put, put blades on the edge of the pancake, throw them like frisbee. Staff has a very good idea there. I will definitely try this. Okay. 
Let's try that again. Except not so poorly. Uh, I'm gonna go up here on the bird. And then we're gonna go down and immediately peck. One more time with feeling. Try it again. Breathing's just a rhythm. Ow, I'm hurting already. With every All right. Get in there. Unseen. Dying by pancake would also not be a bad way to go. Is that a melee? It is a melee. Oh, I thought she could do it ranged. Oh, she can. She can. There we go. That will give Starry advantage. Oh, you know, unless she just dies. Oh, ranged attack. Fuck. Oh, I never learn. I never learn. Melee attacks will not kill them. Do not do ranged attacks for finisher. Do not do. Do not do. Do not do. Javelin baguette is piercing, whereas Narn is slashing. I want to know what like um, a hot dog bun does because that's like bread plus sausage damage. So that that probably crits quite nicely. Okay. No one back home. Ranged bad. Is. Ranged bad. I'm gonna go up close. Ah. He saw me. Well, ranged okay to open combat, I think. So Starry can go in. Hope your soul is in good. I've got terror on me, so it's not gonna hit. Okay, well that's nice. Hot dog is good versus armored skeletons. So yeah, they never see it coming. Okay, how much health? Okay, so we're not gonna use the ranged attack on that one. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We'll use it on her. And Karlak will still be stealth if she doesn't get seen. Ooh! Well. Okay, Karlaki. Why don't you don't do too much damage? You never do much with your crossbow. You're pretty shit with your crossbow. Try try that. Very good. Thank you. And then get behind here. A massive dong. A giant pee. Uh... Shit. Fuck. Nuggets. Did I? Yes. Oh, fuck. It's too tempting! I can't. I can't. It's too tempting. I nearly had it. I just need to remember just to punch people in the face. How is that so difficult? Ah! And I just flicked myself in the eye with my coffee. Like, I get generally a big drop of coffee just came out and poked me in the eye. And now I'm going to have not a hag's eye, but a coffee eye. Salty caramel ice latte eye. More of a curse than a hag's eye. <sighs> Love it. Stein is looking well armored. Yeah, the bonus is really helping him. Yeah, it's, it's technically heavy armor. So it's really just helping minimize the damage. Are you good, elf? Clearly need more coffee. Okay, let's move. Uh, Rude. It's the way of the true coffee drinker. Yes, get it directly into my veins. 
Oh, my eyes. Either way. Oh, come on. I'm going to come out of this shape. I'm not using a spell slot. Okay, so I can open with the ranged, but don't kill him. Excellent. Uh, now you guys can come up here. Hey, Harris, welcome back. Nothing happened? No, definitely not. I am. Okay, she's quite low. Um, da -dum. Um, da -dum, da -dum. Good. Okay, everyone's in combat now. You can't resist Auntie Ethel. Okay, Starry. It's very tempting, right? She's there with 12 health. But what you're going to do is you're going to stealth. Actually, you're going to go down. And then you're going to stealth. And then you're going to stab them. Now, now go stab. Stabbies only. Spill some blood. Yeah. Okay. They sleep. Save. <laughs> Why are you not knocked out right now? There's blood in here. Ooh, blood. Would you like a drink? He can have a little snack on enemy's blood and it does empower him. And then it means he won't come to me for feasting purposes. Okay. Uh, just move forward a tiny bit. There we go. We need to get this one. She's horrible. Go smash this guy. Uh, you, could, you could do the charge. Reckless attack. Wouldn't kill him even if you crit, right? It'll be fine. Oh, you haven't got enough movement. Okay. Maybe next turn. Yeah. Do the crossbow. Yay, you missed. Well done, Karlak. be kind to our guests. Well, the hag definitely knows I'm here now. Okay, we blinded. Gonna fly away. Fly away, my pretty. He's blinded, so he didn't get opportunity attack. Uh... Oh, oh, Starry's getting cornered over here. How, how are you still up? Oh, Starry, you're not looking so good. Okay, I would say. Pacing strike, maybe? I mean, are you really stealth right now? You're not stealth. There's no way you're stealth. You were lying. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, let's do... Just do normal. She's got the thing, which means she can instantly attack back, though. Which is not good. Though you have got healing potions, but you're going to have to wait until next turn. Milling her is not recommended ever. Astarian was like, I think I can kill her in one. Pretty sure I could. Okay, no ranged. No, no, no. Not allowed. Go smack. Yes. Finally. And then I think I'm going to action surge to help out Starry. And we're going to go in with the rush. I've got to finish her. Can she pommel? She can pommel as a bonus, can't she? Oh no, it's weapon action. Here we go. Okay. You're all right, Starry. I won't. I see an elf has also been bitten by the Baldur's Gate 3 bug. It was always coming for me. I knew it would consume me after it came out. There is no escape, and I am totally fine with this. 
Hey, game dev. Welcome on in. Are you enjoying Ystarion's outfit by any chance? Hey, Silver. Welcome, welcome. Okay, just get in there. Get over there. Oh, not enough mo oh, Okay, next turn. Yes. Still blinded. I've lost my wild shape. I could moonbeam her. She is pretty nasty. But it's a ranged attack, so I don't want to kill her. And moonbeam is 2d10, so it, it could technically kill her. Uh, something weak and nice. Yeah. You picked the wrong. Do the, can do the cantrip. Do the whip. And we're gonna shalala. So next turn, and then. Shall we cut and run? I mostly cut, I think, darling. How much damage can you do with that sneak attack? Twenty-one. Mm, I won't risk it. I would not even risk it. I mean, you could walk up and stab them. They don't have their reaction thing going on. You got a dash there. Go on, just just get a little bit closer. You can't attack this turn, but you can get up here. And then you could stab this guy. Bite him. Excellent. Yeah. He's happy. Probably also cursed though, because um nasty blood. Didn't think about that. Not the not the best blood. Oh no, he likes it. It's good blood. He loves it. Mmm. Yum yum yum. I don't get people's love as Starion, but sure. Some people just don't get Asarian. They're just like, he's an asshole. Why does anyone like him? It's kind of because he's an asshole sometimes that people like him, but he's soft and squishy inside. He's, he's, he's beautiful. He's a beautiful man. I can't wait to get to know him better and probably learn to hate him because he has some dark secret that he's a horrible, horrible person. I don't doubt that he's been lying to us every step of the way and he would not hesitate to stab me in the back, but I love him anyway. I love him anyway. I've watched the first seven or so hours on YouTube of this playthrough. Surprised to see it was the same character's run. You thought I'd be on like run number three right now. I'm actually, I'm taking things fairly slowly because Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be here forever. And I know I'm going to be playing it for the next few years on this channel. So I didn't feel any particular rush to just consume all of the game's content as fast as possible, which I know I could have but I'm trying to pace myself and really fully explore Act 1 and just see the differences uh, from Early Access. Astarian is all right, but he's no Shadowheart. Wow. I do love Shadowheart as well. She's growing on me like a dark curse. Go smash. Not the ranged, not the ranged. <laughs> I won't tempt you. Can you get over there? No, you can't. Go for this guy. Just, just go closer. Help Starry. He's not feeling so good. No, Auntie. You love Astaria more than Varric? Oh, don't do this to me. I can't choose between my husbands. Varric. Beautiful. Cocky. Lovely thick chest hair. And then Starry. My skinny little pale vampire boy. Oh, I can't choose. I can't choose. Um, one for each day of the week? Both? Every day of the week? I can't choose. Now, if, you, if we're talking seriously about someone who, if you were romancing them in real life, would actually be a good romance choice, Varric. Like Varric would look after you. He he would he would be really like caring and just witty. He he'd make jokes about everything every day and just brighten your every day. Whereas Astarian, he would make every waking second a nightmare and he would moan about everything. But gosh damn, is he pretty? Oh, we love him. I'm trying to move Mog Camp because it's very important that you see how cute she is. Uh, there you go. There you are. Good girl. 
But yes, as a real life partner, uh, a starion probably wouldn't be the smart choice. You shouldn't have made me your enemy. You gonna do it? You're not gonna do it? Okay, you're gonna go down first. Okay, smash down. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. It's carnage time. Go for it. You've already done all your attacks. You can't even stealth your way out of there. Just stay there. Lazel will finish them. Oh, Lazel! I had faith in you. Ah, damn it. Well, you could give them rally. Sure. Let me go, Auntie. Carlac Smash. Who was proud? You you can probably do this on its own, but use reckless attack, because I know you love it. Yeah. Take that, fool. <laughs> I kind of want to rage. I don't need to, but I kind of want to. I don't need it. I don't need it. That's greedy. I just like it. There we go. Help! I can't stop watching Baldur's Gate content. Welcome to uh, Gate Addicts Anonymous. We're all in the same boat here. We're all in the same boat. The thing is as well, I, I video edit, so I've been editing a lot of Baldur's Gate content recently, and it's been making me want to play Baldur's Gate, so I can never escape it. It's always there in my subconscious, which isn't a problem. I'm curious what people would think about Astarian if they did his quest fully and didn't pick the evil outcome. He's one of the deepest characters with one of the most heart-wrenching stories ever. He does have hidden depths. I don't know what they are yet, so no spoilers, but I have heard whispers on the internet that there are there are hidden, very squishy, soft, huggable depths to Astarian. Hashtag no spoilers. Please. I will kill you. I will literally send assassins to your house. Okay, F5. Let me see if I can just take the note. Why well, she got a stone? I'm just gonna take the stone. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. No, she tried to resist. She tried. See, this is why I didn't kill them because they, they tried to, to resist. My step. They wanted to be free. I'm gonna take all their stuff though. I'm a loot goblin. Don't mind if I do. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, Gabrielle! Sorry for the off topic. I just found your channel through Baldur's Gate 3. Hello, welcome. Good to have you. I know that you now also play Zelda, which is super. Is the Ocarina content going to be on YouTube? It is! So, with the VOD content, a lot of the older content, I locally recorded everything because I wanted it to be in high quality. And also, I didn't want to get copyright strikes on the video, which if you try and upload directly from Twitch, if something has a copyright strike because of the music in the game, it just mutes that entire section of the VOD. So for stuff like Ocarina of Time, where maybe it would get copyright striked, we did have that problem with Dragon Age as well. The main theme would get copyright striked. I try to local record. So usually with those series, I play all the way through or like halfway through-ish, and then I start uploading the VODs pretty quickly together. 
So we haven't finished Ocarina yet. We are quite close to the end from what people have been whispering in chat. So I'm going to start uploading the VODs soon. Um, I'm going to edit them a little bit more than I do the other playthroughs. Since I do have the local VODs, I may as well. And uh, yeah, those, those will go up on the VOD channel. And it's possible that there may also be some fun moments and highlights that go up on main channel that are like properly edited. But yeah, it's been a fun playthrough. It's been a wild time. There is the VOD channel if anyone is new here and wants to catch up on past playthroughs. All of Dragon Age is on there. Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2 is complete on there. Inquisition, we're like eight episodes in. I have episode nine, I think. It's just on private mode right now. I'm hiding it from you. And all the Baldur's Gate VODs will also be going up on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube right now, uh, d say uh, a Starian song in the comments. We'll, we'll see how many people actually watch the video. Okay. F5. Is there anything else in here? I can't take the masks off because that would kill them. No couch over here. Game of the year for me yes absolutely no competition i'm not gonna lie i'm loving inquisition and before i played baldur's gate i was like wow i i love inquisition so much it's so cool you have so much free choice but now going back to inquisition after playing baldur's gate 3 it's not that it's bad in comparison to baldur's gate it's just there's not as many options to do what I want to do. And sometimes in conversation, I'm like, oh, I actually want to try using this on them and see if that will distract them. And then I can go in and do this. And it just it doesn't have as many conversation options and optional things that you can do outside of combat as well. So the, the difference is very stark. Very. Waz's face. Waz's face. Welcome back for 25 months of immortality. An honor to have thy soul once again. Yeah, Inquisition is old too. That's the thing. You can't compare a game from, I think it was 2012, to a game that came out this year. Like, it's incredible for the time as well. That is the other main playthrough we're doing on the channel at the moment, is Inquisition. It's my first playthrough. I have never played Inquisition, so no spoilers up in chat. But we just got to uh, the main keep. Can't get in there. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Oh. Is everyone else coming? Keep your distance, darling. Come on. Way. Come on now. Everybody group up. Ooh. Rhonda! A fine wizard you are, Randath, and I am honoured that I've been able to keep your soul for this long. Welcome back to the Wisps. Okay, come on. Follow me. Ah, oh, the noxious fumes. I remember you well. Pretty sure that it interacts with fire, and if we set off fire the whole cave just goes up this i could do f5 just run through what's the worst that could happen yeah i'm sure it'll be fine it doesn't look toxic it's just yeah it's just spores it'll just set off my uh my allergies that's all what now does action anyone have action. any fire once again, I miss Gale. I hate to say it, but he has what we need. Uh, I do have fire potions and things, though. Alchemist fire we have. I'm going to do it. Oh. Okay. That was underwhelming. 
Um, I really thought that would do the trick. Hmm. That inventory. What, what do you mean? It's 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 so, so clean. It's so clean. Look, this is only one thing in here. This is just it's, 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 it's very clean. Hmm. Don't waste a step. I mean, I could just fly over as a bird. I need to get back into my beast form, though. Ah, I don't have it. Need to rest again. Inventory? Don't you mean pre-stash waiting room? I have got a lot in my stash. So much. I'm collecting all the law books as well, because I want to read them for Law Whisper. I read one when I had to record another vocal thing and I was in the booth and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm finally gonna record a Law Whisper video. So I've recorded one from Baldur's Gate 3. And it is uh, a law book about the origin of magic in this universe. Everyone can just ride on a starion's back whilst whipping him with a sausage. Works for me. Also, I need to see art of that immediately. Uh, <laughs> Can't believe that didn't work. I love Carlac's little dance she does. Her little wiggle. She's so stinking cute. Okay. Let's take a short rest anyway. We need it. <sighs> nice little nap. Oh, love it. And then I am going to go. Ah, it's noxious fumes. Don't spiders have resistance to um? I don't know if it counts as whoa, a poison or if it counts as something else. A trap, just as I expected. Ah, oh, a peculiar flower. Oh. Okay. So maybe I just throw fire at that. I say I just throw fire at that. I've got a noxious bulb. And away I go. That did nothing. What a waste. Excellent. Thank you so much. Mm, okay. Mage hand? God damn it. Gail has mage hand. Uh, or water? No cantrip with fire. I don't think so. Not in the party at the moment. We could go get Gale. Sorry. Oh, darling, you have firebolts. Oh, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I forgot you were something of a mage on the side, Starry. Mm, impressive. Okay. Well, it destroyed the bulb. Although I think we need some kind of water spell to clear the entire area. Hmm. Didn't clear the fumes. Let's see if I can. I know I can get down there by just like jumping and using flight. Not sure I want to. Lazelle has main chance. What? Oh my god, she does. God. Not that it's going to help us too much now because we've disarmed the trap and it's still not got rid of anything. Careful, I might. Want a tip? I'm good. You'll know when I ask for a tip. I'll make it very obvious. I'll be like, chat, please help me. Otherwise. What are those? Candles? This is true. They put them there so you can use them if you don't have a fire spell. Oh, wait, there's one up here. I only saw the one down there. Can I just chuck them in there anyway? Oh. Apparently, Bear Whisper is not strong enough to lift a candle. Hmm. Seems like it just keeps coming back. It seems weaker up there, but maybe it's just going to grow again. It's a Githyanki racial spell or something. Hmm. Oh! Oh. That looked hopeful for a second. Well, it's fun doing this every time. I mean, we could just walk through the fire. Oh, there's another one! There's another one! A vent. Okay. Uh oh, action, not reaction. Can we just eat the vent? No. 
I mean, Astarian can walk into the fire to disarm it, but... Mm, or we could try Mage Hands. Mage Hands does have health, but... Hello. Can't reach. Ooh. Difficulty class 30. He rolled so well! No, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. I'm not going to get a plus 10 bonus, so... There's no way. There's no way. Um, okay. Where's the vent gone? We've lost it. Oh, there we go. I oh, know, don't, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Never give up, never surrender. I mean, there's literally zero chance. What can I add a bonus from? Guidance, which will add plus four. Yeah, 24, which still isn't enough. No, not worth. Not worth. Sorry, do you just want to go and well, tinker? Hello. I mean, just go in and touch it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Very good. 30. He might make it. Oh my god, you're ridiculous, Starry. And it wasn't even enough. You can't even do it. <laughs> Can he even do it? Uh, screw it. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, he'd be one short no matter what he does. And I just used inspiration. God damn it. Uh, sure, roll anyway for fun. Yeah. Same as before. Well done. Yeah, he, if he has guidance, he might be able to do it. And I did pick that up on my druid now, so... Let's see. All right, what now? Let's give him... I could just walk by now, but I'm determined to disarm it now. <laughs> disarm. Shame. Shame upon you, Starry. Do you have to play me like this? One more time, just for fun. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, it was worth it. My guidance roll was good that other time. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just walk on by. No. He's going to run out of trap disarm kits. This game is a D and D stream. It really is. They've truly managed to capture the spirit of D and D, and I think what really makes it feel like D and D as well is all the stupid fuckery that you can get away with, like things you wouldn't get away with in any other game. And sometimes you just think, "Wait, will this work?" And it actually does. Okay, I say we just blow everything up. Uh, I mean that kind of works. Technically, he hasn't seen the flower. Ah! Okay. This is fine. It's still, it's still not really working. I can't get rid of the flower. It's only got one health, but it's sturdy. Whee! is sort of painful to watch. I delight in the pain. A trap. Like oh my god, there's traps everywhere. Eh, just walk through it. Let's let's try it for science. Just to see what happens to us. This way. Ah. Ooh, this lovely. So you can save against the noxious fumes. I don't know if everybody will, but we can. Oh. Oh. Oh no. What have I done? I broke the game. Uh, guys? Uh, hello? Ha- Still breathing, oh, despite there we go. everything. Just save. It's fine. Just, just save and chill. Oh, enough waiting. Just don't stand the in the actual trap and we're okay. Failed. Ah, oh, Lazel. You're supposed to be sturdy. Oh, I could go for a good meal. <gasps> Lovely. Take care. Ah, good spot, Lazel. 
I mean, that is a trap, yes. There's no noxious fumes near here, though, so we might be okay. Ah! Okay. This is fine. Here. Anything useful? What now? More of those flowers. More candles. Just an alternative way around, I'm guessing. Looks like it. Wait, does that go further up? It's hard to see. That's where we came from. Okay. Well, onwards we go. Oh, yeah. Everybody do your rolls. There we go. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. Just like me. Stop it, all of you. Oh, hello. Looks like an ambush. Looks like an ambush. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is this is not looking like a desirable situation. Everyone sneak. F5. Not a sound. She's round here somewhere. I know she is. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Nah, yeah, she definitely doesn't like visitors. She might see us if we go this way. Let's go around here. A door over there as well. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Stop it! All of you! There's no one here apart from us. Sylvan stone. What is that? Wood shiny. of Sylvan Stone. What does that do? Essence. Found where the Feywild touches the material plane, these crystals are warm to the touch, as if they've been basking in the Feywild's ever-setting sun. Ooh. Ooh. The belief that the Feywild is a dreamy plane of whimsical adventure is folly. The occasional rainbow-coloured glint from this substance could as easily evoke a treacherous oil slick. A very dangerous place. Okay. I have shinies. Can I go in here? Enough! Don't do this! Oh my god. What the heck is going on here? I did not come back here in early access. I came to here and then somehow found a way back to the Druid's Grove from here and just went back to the Druid's Grove. I didn't find this. She better not be in here. Oh. We'll free her in a second. She can wait. There's lots of sacrifice going on here. What is this? Altar. Letter from Ethel. Ooh, let's have a read. Blotches of ink are spattered on this unfinished letter, written in an uneven scroll. Sister, dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pop give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my red caps nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind. You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to visit... She got interrupted by something. Okay. A mother with a failing mind. <laughs> I wonder what she wants with the baby. Definitely not going to sacrifice it. Speed and healing potions. Potion oh my god. All these potions. Missing pets, butterflies in the stomach, lost time. The heck? Drink, no. Its seal is dry and cracked with age. 
Yet the clear potion within bears no signs of spoilage. Meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. I wonder if these actually work as potions. If I can actually get the effects. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper. It's enough to make your mouth water. Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle, seeking an escape. Wilted dreams. Oh yeah, we can give them to Gail! Looks like the thing she used on her victims already. Because there's one for turning someone to stone. Ooh! Staff of Crones. This looks good. Yoink. Ooh! Live worms wriggle beneath the crumbling surface of this half-rotten staff. Merely touching it fills you with a wave of unbearable nausea and a strange longing, as if it's calling out for its like. That's quite nice. I get a necromancy spell if I use that. Definitely not cursed, right? Definitely not. Equip. Oh, it looks cool as well. Hell yeah, F5. Now, what the heck is going on here? A mushroom side. Use. Uh, F5, 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 F5. Can I get some F5s in chat, please? <laughs> Before I touch this. What could go wrong? What could, what could, what could go wrong? What's, what's the worst? Oh. Huh? Oh, it's a teleport. Wait, it takes, oh. Wait, so the clue that the tree gave us was actually a clue. There is another entrance somewhere in the bog because he showed us like a, a top up view through the trees and the sky. He was telling us it was here that, oh my God, it's, it's literally just there by the arcane barrier. I was gonna go down there <laughs> and then I didn't. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's go back. Ah, some time travel. Well, I thought it was going to take us to the Feywild, so that's good. Definitely don't want to go to the Feywild right now. I'm, I'm not I'm not ready. Okay, let's see what else we can steal. The ever-seeing eye. Oh, is that a circlet? Oh, that looks lovely, that is. Bitter divorce. Ooh. Gnarly marriage. What is it? Is that a dagger? Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up this shaft of the wand. Connor is scratched in the surface. Don't mess with her. The all-seeing eye. Protection from good and evil. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going for... Not quite cottage core druid aesthetic. Evil witch druid aesthetic. Can I wear it? I'm wearing it. Okay. Oh, it's technically a necklace rather than a crown. I thought it was a crown. The amulet of lost voices is way too good, so I'm going to give this to someone else. Mm. Who would like protection? Karlak, you would look badass with this around your neck an eyeball definitely fits you can have it there you go now lazel can have a necklace too forest goth aesthetic oh i mean that's what i'm aiming for when i'm a wizened old crone living in a cottage in the woods I want to be the one that everyone whispers about and says, don't go near her house. She'll bake you into a pie. That's what I'm going for. This letter is written in elegant cursive. 
Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along Chanthar, and have ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish to him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. A mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her that you can help. I'll have sent her by the usual route, M. So she does have a, a sister. Let me read this one again. Sister, yeah. Hag sisters. Traditionally, there are three hag sisters. It's usually the rule of three with hags, right? Okay, wicker chest, wicker chest. Have I opened the heavy chest? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Um, yes. Money. Thanks, hag. This has been a very profitable trip. Wish I had a bag of holding. Yeah, me too, to be honest. I'm always picking up so much crap. Okay. Back we go. There's nothing going on with these roots back here, is there? No, it's just a candle. Creepy. Well, let's see if we can free her. I think it's a trap. I don't think it's really her. Control orb. You want us to leave you here? Really? Okay, can we get down there? Let's give this a go. I should probably touch this. I have arcana knowledge. It'll burn in five turns. We need to get her out. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. She can teleport. Oh, my God. I'm dead already. Ah. Oh. I, I, I think we might have to use cat strats here. Uh, Carla, I kind of need you to uh, help defend. Oh, where did she go? Come on, soldier. Little shit. Time to get up. Wakey wakey. I am fury. I am death. I am Lazel. Come on, Lazel. Hamstring? Just to try and stop her porting everywhere? It's not gonna work though. No, no. <laughs> Make way. Starry? Care to do something? We're gonna die. We are a hundred percent gonna die. Uh, just a normal ranged attack, why not? It's 16%, oh, wonderful. Okay, okay, I'm thinking we approach this situation a little bit differently. Oh, where did she come from? She's been stealthing. I'm guessing if we if we got close enough to her where she was stealthing, it would tell us she was there. If we managed to roll a good perception check. But yes. Fury, death. Probably a horse from talking like that all the time. She is angry always. Okay, take two. Have to keep going. Right. Let's see what we can do. Now, sorry. If anyone was going to get close to her. You would probably have Don't the least chance this. of being seen, right? Although she is a hag, so... Oh, have you got guidance? Oh! You want the girl so bad. Did we oh. even... We didn't even roll for stealth. We didn't even roll for stealth, so... Is it just a case of if we go there, she knows. She just immediately sees us. We're gonna have to bring out the big guns. Cat meta. Cat meta is coming. 
true sight perhaps i'm not sure i mean yeah because she didn't even roll for it it must be or a scripted event like the thing with the um the gnome tied to the windmill where you can't free the gnome without activating the goblins time to press ahead you mean i can't cheese this okay let's try try the cat so cat meta will hopefully reveal her she might just attack the cat though that's the other thing she might just be like oh a cat Hello, witchy witch. Your pussy's here. Oh, pet. I love cats. Where are you, fucker? Oh, you feck shite. Don't you be hiding from me. I know you're here somewhere. Mew. Yeah, yeah. Seems scripted to me. Unless, like, can I activate the orb with mage hand, maybe? You'll cast darkness near there. Ah, uh, but if she has um, true sight, that sees through darkness, doesn't it? Even magic darkness. Well, well, well. Keeping low. You want to try, Lazel? Oh, you need a long rest before you can use again. In that case, I guess we just try and mess her up. Enough time wasted. Battle awaits. At the ready. Can I save her as a cat? Bath is interrupted. Wait. I can fly if I turn into a, a burb. <gasps> I see her! I fucking see her! Bitch! Wait! Why did she just appear? I wish I was a cat now. Well, she might just be teleporting around consistently all the time. Yeah, no, she she doesn't care if I'm a cat. She doesn't care. She is there. You can see her with sea invisibility. But I was over there and then why why can my druid suddenly see her? Because I, I didn't activate sea invisibility. Unless I have some kind of passive perk. I don't know. Let's kill her. I think it needs to be done. She didn't even offer me a pie. That was rude. She deserves to die. Okay, short rest. Uh, off we go, then. Let's go hunt a hag. I think your cat form broke it. Cat meta is too strong for this game. It can't handle it. Okay. Let's find a nice spot for our ranged characters. Probably up here. With a nice line of sight. So... Who's coming up here? Me and Starry, I think. We'll form a little little coterie over here. If we can. Out you guys joined? Mind, out of mind. I know, we're all joined. your own first then we'll follow soon Stop it, all of you. okay i don't know if i want to start the fight in beast form my time in the shadows i remember which ones i have now so i also picked up deep wrath the hair there's an accent on the e so i'm guessing it's a wrath the hair not a wrath I see in the shape of a deep rothe that casts dancing lights and charges enemies. And then I also have Dire Raven as well. Badger, Wolf. Bear is good for being tanky as well. I think Marina would be happier in her cage. Don't be shy. She seems very happy. We should just Quiet. leave her there. Yo, haggy haggy. She's just gonna see me immediately. But that's okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh 
shit! Not the clones! Oh, bugger me! Which one's the real one? No, oh, no, I hate it. This is a common thing with the witches. Clones. Oh, God, she hits hard. Oh, my God. Okay. The cage is going to drop. Is this Ethel or an illusion? Ah, uh, plus five bonus to initiative, dark vision, and opportunity to attack. Okay. <laughs> it's fine, we just have to do 112 damage to her. What could go wrong? Get out! <laughs> oh, it wasn't her. Oh, damn it, I wasted an ability. Oh, god damn it. I wanted to. I needed to. Okay, so we just go around whacking clones until we find the right one. Sounds like fun to me. Take a shot at this one. Oh, we need to be stealthing for that one. Just use your normal one. She didn't disappear, but then I didn't hit her technically either, so... It's nothing too fancy. Can I throw something on this turn? No. Okay, well then just stay where you are, I suppose. Or get a bit of distance and crouch. There we go. Crouchy, crouchy. Can you feel death's cold grip? I can. I can feel death's cold grip quite keenly, actually. Uh, jump! Jump already! Can I can I put it out with something? Like if we've got water, can we can we put it out? Uh, first up, we need to sort out the hag, though. Is that real? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Lysal, you can't oh, throw no. this turn, can you? I might throw with Karlak. Do, oh, do I have any kind of water spell? Or a water barrel? Starion has water. Can I just chuck it? Work? Good idea, I think. Okay, so it's no longer burning. I'm guessing every turn she'll attempt to burn it again. Only in Baldur's Gate 3 would that work. I like that it works. I might well shape. Yeah. Get into my strongest form. One day, I'll catch a break. Go smash him, bury me. Yeah, run away. Ah. And because there's two copies of her, she gets to cast the same spell twice. Oh, shittery. Okay, Starry, go for this guy. Concentration broken. So we managed to interrupt it. Stealth again. All right, Karlak. I don't exactly know how we're going to save her. We can't teleport her. I guess we just have to kill the hag before the hag kills her. Enough! Don't do this. Enough! Let's get rushing. Form seller, give me your strongest forms. You can't handle my strongest forms. Not even Helsin can. Okay, let's just hit them. Blood follows me everywhere. Okay, that is actually Ethel. Confirmed. Can I throw a void bulb on the same turn? Oh, can I? I'm a bear. I can't throw things, right? It's, no, I've got my claws though. I'll get you next turn. Damsel in distress. Oh no, she's teleported her. Marina. Ah, the 
little hags elsewhere. Okay, well, Count keep on me. running. That's not really Marina, is it? Right? She's just taken Marina's form. I don't want to hurt her if it is Marina. Why, did, why does it say Marina's happy? Oh no, it's me that's happy because I drank blood. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to do then. Uh, mm, I guess I'll just support this turn. Throw potions at someone that needs it. How are we doing? Lazelle's not good. Remember the combat order? There is no order. There is only chaos. A better position. I'm not Ethel, I swear! Really? I don't know. I'm just gonna have to, like, throw a sausage at each one of you to make sure. I can't throw because I'm a bear. Uh, well, this one says they have concentration hold person. So surely that's Ethel because Ethel's channeling that, so... Think you can take me on. Bloody clever clubs! Thank the gods! <laughs> Outwitted witch lady. <laughs> oh no, vicious mockery. She made a rude joke about my bear paws. Okay. I say just get over there. Aberration, celestials, elementals, fate, and undead. She counts as fate, right? Like, hags, hags are from the fate worlds, right? I think. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, she's Faye. Okay, so I might use that. I kind of want a frenzy. Yeah. I would like to rage! Yeah! Time to kill. All right, pretty boy. Time to show everyone that you can hit your targets. 50% high defense. Mm. Anything I can do to make it a little bit easier for you, sorry? Well, you may as well try. You got her. Excellent. I wouldn't bite her. She doesn't look very tasty. I would run away and hide again. That would be the smart option. The amount that I'm using Starry Ranged, I really need to get some good ranged feats for him. Are you hiding? Oh. Oh. No. I keep doing that. I think I press it twice and that's why. How far can she rush? Not that far. Get him! Go protect her. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Smacky smacky. That was never gonna hit. Defense too high. Okay. Woo! Aha! Attack of opportunity! That didn't really do anything. Yay! Woo! Fella Zeros! Welcome back for two months! I will protect you from the harsh realities of time with immortality and hopefully from hags too thank you so much okay you gotta you gotta do some damage now otherwise we lose the advantage so uh go and rush i guess you can't reckless from here can you uh okay then we're gonna have to count on you hitting oh no uh can you throw something sausage salami mushroom rotten mushroom Cheese! Cheese! Oh, path is interrupted. Okay, just come a bit come a bit closer and then you can throw your cheese. Throw the cheese! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Baldur's Gate 3 would that work. That was a very hard age cheese wheel, I'll have you know. Critical hits! Hell yeah! Love it. Who's this? 
vampire. Vampire is at it again. The vampire lich god gifting the soul of Cetos. We love us, Cetos. Thank you for returning their soul. That's very kind of you. Okay. And I did damage, so that means I will stay in rage, hopefully. This beach is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Ooh. Leave no trace. Nice. And you've already used the stealth, but you can get some distance on the situation, hopefully. Wait. There we go. Chick. My person. Hey, how far? Yeah, 50%. I'll take those odds. Yeah. And now push her. Abuse her. Yeah, fool. Blood comes easy these days. Not enough movement. Too far to go. Let's get a bit closer. Raw. Fight me. I am immortal. I'll show you. I might throw another cheese wheel at you because I don't know if I can get to you this turn. Yeah. Yeah, cheese wheels. What else do I have? I could throw a mushroom or a warhammer. Warhammer seems fun. Sure. This will help. That did not help. It was worth a try. I didn't do damage. Not my rage. In rage throw. Can I can I pick up Lazel? No. <laughs> Target must be movable. Oh. Let's see if I can do something from my inventory. Mushroom? Moldy mushroom? No, she's probably got resistances anyway to poison. And um, what have we got? Where's the salami? I mean, I could bonk her in the head with her own mask. Let's do that. Imagine this combined with the giant woman bonus. It's going to be so good. Miss. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, he's not stealth. Uh, Just like old times. There you go, stealth. Why does it do that? Am I being a dum-dum? Probably am. I pressed on him to hide. And then he didn't. This is fine. It's a critical! Charge forth. Wait, I have non-lethal on. I could leave her unconscious and then like take her back to the Druid's Grove. I wonder if that's a possibility. Damn it. Action surge. Let's try that again. Uh, uh, Nope, 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 nope. Healing myself. Now it's my turn. Go forward a tiny bit. 20% high defense. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> That's why not. But oh well. This is fine. What if I... Oh my god, I have one health. Drink. There you go. Wait. Oh, wait just a tick. Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. 
Always have, always will. But you'll be gone for a bit. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be <sighs> civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. Do you? Oh God, it's Lazel talking to her. Oh no. What I want is Marina, alive and free. Go on. Indeed. I'll take your head and stick it on a pike. Hmm. This should be good. A servant of Lacketh wants for nothing that her queen can't give. Sure. I mean, tell me what it is, and then I'll still kill you. I knew I liked you, dearie. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. Mm. You want to be stronger? No. Tougher? Smarter. Ooh, plus one. Go. Anything is possible. Well, that's quite good. Let me keep the girl and her babe. Plus one. Trading some wealth we just met for impossible power. It's a fine deal. Oh, you naughty it's boy. It's your choice, sweetness. <sighs> Probably shouldn't do this. This is this is a, a good playthrough. Very chaotic, but mostly good. My reinforcements are nearly here. Give me the girl and the power, and they'll spare you. I don't think so. I know a beaten opponent when I see one. Give me the power and the girl, and I'll let you live. Can we say that and then kill her anyway? Because that would be great. If she gave us the plus one, and then, and then we just killed her anyway. Because that'd be great. <laughs> Ultimate betrayal. I don't think it will let you. Hmm. Yeah, I think she will just teleport away. Um, I think a dead hag is the answer here. Fine. Have it your way. I'll rip your throat out, yes, you little bollocks. Ooh! Try to that Invisible! Oh no! I mean, I see you. I quite clearly see you. That did, that did not work. I'm gonna throw more cheese at you. <laughs> Can Carl like actually charge now? Yeah, get him. Eat it. Oh! Off she goes again. I can still quite clearly see you though. It's like it's just whatever you're trying to do. It's just it's not working. I'm gonna throw cheese at you. Wait, what else do I have to check at her? Sausage. Can we kill the hag with the sausage? Send to Karlak. Enraged sausage show. I think I need to go back into the menu though. Sausage! 70% sausage chance! To do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gotcha with the sausage. Oh, it's just clones. God damn it. I just can't see the other ones yet. Where has she gone? Sneaky, sneaky. Go and have a little dabble around, Starry. I think she might be somewhere over here. Don't waste a step. I'm very low on health. I would buff Karlak, but I have to touch her, so next turn, maybe. Where is she? I don't have any spells that can reveal her at the moment, so let's just keep dashing around and trying to find her. Make way. She wants the girl, so... Oh! She's there! She's gonna take the girl! Fuck! I thought there's no way she's gonna leave the girl alone! She's in the corner! Ah! Is that the real her though? It might not be. This will do nicely. Okay. I need to turn off non-lethal. 
she dies. Still kind of curious. What happens with non-lethal on though? Unless that was the cutscene we get. She's up there. She's chilling up here. Could just be trickery. These boots have seen everything. I want to try my wrath. Oh, angry goat. Time to strike. Oh, he stamps Taking his hooves. Position. Theory. Stay where you are, you thick shite. Stay there. I'm gonna be having you. My rage ended because she was hidden for so long. Let's go smack her. 50%. Even the trees has a higher chance. Oh, come on then. I don't know if it's really her. Damn it. Shove okay, well, that's her because she technically took damage from that, I think. For the slaughter. Get her. Oh, sneak. On the hunt. Okay. And stay there, I suppose. I'm gonna charge. Yeah. Oh, not enough movement. Ah, oh, tragic. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure? That looks perfectly fine to me. Is it because Marina is standing there? I guess it might be. With haste. I'm protecting her. You can use water to reveal invisible creatures if you can guess where they are. Oh, you just throw it? That's cool. And then you see where the water doesn't drip. Oh. I wonder if it's the same with um, like the spores, if you can throw the spores and that reveals them. Because that's just an AOE. I do this. I Oh, my path be true. Oh, smack her, Karlak. Come on, Karlak. Show him who. That did not work. Shove. Yeah, get shoved. Let's spill some blood. Of course, darling. Oh, we're so bad. Oh my god. On my way. Sorry. Let's find some prey. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, enjoy your tea, Scottish. Save us some. Oh yeah, smoke powder barrels as well. I need to pick up more barrels. Okay, let's just do a standard go. Critical miss. Oh, God. It's because I've got threatened as well. Uh, yeah. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. I can't throw spores as a bull, unfortunately. 35% chance. So many debuffs on me. Can't reach destination. Why? Oh, is it because we formed a little traffic jam over here? Uh-oh. Oh, well, try. Oh, we hit her. Yes, take that. Uh, Granton, that like eight temporary hit points. Who needs it? Mm, probably not me. Mm, who's dying? Ah, you can have it. She'll try running away. She's a coward. Okay, Carlyle. 75%. I've knocked her out. I've not killed her, you see. 
Where's Marina gone? Marina? Marina, come back. Where are you going? Marina. I thought you'd at least talk to us. Hey, hey, it's okay. Come, come talk to us. Talk to Karlak. She's probably the most understanding in this situation. Need a word. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Um, sorry, I saved your life from someone who was clearly an evil hag. That's an interesting way of thanking me. Yeah. You want thanks? A slap is all you deserve. Go on, try it. Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! Because of Auntie Ethel, you nearly died. Don't be naive. A hag was never going to help you. Hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? Probably her firstborn child, I'm guessing. This. Her baby. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. Mm. And all this, all this would have been over. A life for a life. You must really love your husband. I'm going to try and empathize. I do. The baby too. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Mm -mm. Teach them magic even. I don't think so. More than I could have done. Don't sell yourself short. You can raise a child. For what I've seen, you make a terrible mother. The shade. You should have known better. Hags don't help anyone but themselves. Don't sell yourself short. Karlak would definitely say this because she's a sweetie. You can raise a child. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. No. Oh. I hope you're happy. Oh, screw you too then. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I, did I tell you your brothers are dead or are you going to find their corpses on the road? Because that's got to be some emotional damage. I probably should have let her know. Oh, dear. Careful, I might. I know, darling. Well, Auntie Ethel is technically knocked out. Let's loot her. Fay life. Make it easier for the wearer to succeed on death saving throws. Ooh, potion of invisibility. Question is Do we finish her off? I think she'll only come back to bite us if we don't kill her now. Come on, let's go. What should the method of execution be? Let me look for my weapon of choice. I think we're out of salami. Rotten tomato. Quite stylish. Kill her with the, the head of the person that she also murdered and cut the head off. Maybe rotten eggs. Death by baguette. Do I have a baguette? I might have one. Ah, oh, I'm out of baguettes. Do you have any bread? No. <laughs> I... Consumables? Can I can I sort by consumables? No, you can't do it just by food. An apple? It would be fitting, seeing as she tried to poison everybody else with apples. Just bonk her on the head with an apple. That's karma. I like it. Karlak? Would you do the honors? Give me a nice strong throw. You can get really close if you want to. And... Bonk. Oh, I didn't turn off the thing. One second. She's just enjoying a last bonking before you finish her for good. Okay. Bonk mode is now off. Okay. Here we go. Rest in pieces. No? <laughs> It hit for eight bludgeoning damage, but it didn't kill her. 
Are you telling me I can't kill her with an apple? Oh, hi, Mog. Mog's come to witness the murder. <laughs> no. <laughs> Needs the sausage power. Maybe the apple isn't enough damage. Let's find something else. Honeycomb? That sounds really tasty, though. I don't want to waste it. Um, a shovel? Just a shovel? Improvised apple weapon? Mm-hmm. Orange? I don't think you can kill knocked out characters. Really? <laughs> yeah, I want to see if I can bring her back to the grove. Raging throw apple. Can I rage outside of combat though? I can't, can I? Hmm. Where's the icon even gone? Ah, oh, here. Available only in combat. I want to take her back to the grove. I want to drag her back with us. I can main hand attack. I think I have to do it with my main hand. Go on then, Karlak. Hi, Mog. Oh my gosh, are you enjoying the murder? Come see. Come see, we're gonna murder the hag, Mog. Yeah, we're gonna murder the hag. Yeah, come witness. All right, you ready, Mog? Okay. Uh, Karlak also can't attack her right now. Karlak is suddenly a pacifist. Come on. Oh, and the witch is dead. Ah, the hag is dead. Well, now we're free to explore her entire house. Although I think we already took everything that she owns. So there we go. There she is. Oh, Auntie Ethel. I really hoped we could be friends, but alas. I was really hoping I could kill you with an apple as well. That would have been just darling. Salami! I can get my salami back. I'm not going to lie. I want to do a, a a joke playthrough where I just use salami and every character jeweled salami. That and the cat playthrough where we just take a druid, a wizard with a pet, and a warlock with a pet, and just, yeah, just cats everywhere. Take a couple of druids, really. You could have house in, in beast form, and then a druid, and then... Also a wizard with a cat. Mog. <laughs> I'm trying to play, but Mog is brushing up against my mouse hand. What is it? My precious chaos. Do you want a treat? I don't know. You already had one. And there's not been a chat redeem, so... You can use speak with dead on her. Ooh, I actually didn't think of that. We should do that. I have the amulet, so if I leave my beast form, we can recast Speak with Death. Thank you! Why have you gone and done that? Hi. How's it going? Lovely to see you too. Hmm. Why are you so cruel? I mean, it's literally in a hag's nature. Uh, literally evil. Are you the only hag around here? Mog. Cat treat has been redeemed. Okay, we'll distract Mog so that I can actually press buttons. I'm sorry we're out of your favorite sardine treats. I know, you have to have the healthy ones. They're still good. You want? You want? You want to show chat your beautiful eyes like usual? Okay, good girl. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Gentle, gentle. <laughs> she doesn't do gentle when it comes to treats. Okay. Why did you want Marina? For the babe, I'm guessing. Are you the only hag around here? I know you have a sister. Where there's people, there's hags. That was a really helpful answer. What deal did you make with Marina? The brat's husband is dead. So sad. She wanted me to bring him back to life. Little fool thought it would fix everything. Yeah, we knew that already. Mm, where do you keep your valuables? In my workroom. I've seen it. Where did you want Marina? 
didn't want the girl. Wanted her bay. Was going to eat it and make a hag daughter. I don't want to know how that works. Uh, but also I kind of do. How do hag daughters work? I'm googling it. All right, Night Hag's daughter. When someone calls their mother a monster, they don't usually mean they're literally a monster. Hagborns are one of the rare exceptions, and none is more unfortunate than the Night Hag's daughter, doomed to be tormented by nightmares caused by their mother until they break and become evil, like her. Or run away or forge their own path through this cruel world. Mm, beautiful. I don't know if, if this involves eating this version, it might be a custom class. Mm. Oh, it's when a night hag, a night hag can actually get pregnant. Mm. Oh, great. Due to how undeniably cruel and hideous they are, hagborn daughters are often the product of forced sexy times with a poor unfortunate creature that's caught the eye of the night hag. Usually it's because the father's dreams are delicious. Depending on the night hag's mood, she may allow him to live after the event or may kill and eat him. That's another type of hag though. This is, this is like a swampy hag. That's a nasty hag. So I guess um, eating them is part of the birth process with them. Mmm, lovely. Mmm. Why are you so cruel, seeing as I have this question left? Not me. That's cruel. It's people. They want and want and want. I merely give. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. And so we lie, Auntie Ethel to rest at long last Whew. i'm happy we did that first try i thought it was going to take a few tries to be honest but she wasn't quite as bad as i remember her being her D, &D law aren't changelings the children's of hags i had a changeling for a one shot once which was pretty fun but i'm not sure on the lore of like where they come from there's different changeling origins changelings in D, &D. Yeah, they can be the offspring of fairies or elves substituted by them surreptitiously <laughs> or elves substituted by them surreptitiously for a human infant. So yeah, they can like place themselves in a family and grow up unnoticed. Which reminds me of um there's a type of vampire in Elder Scrolls that does that. Like, famous, like, child vampires. And they can take the place of a family member and they don't even notice. Creepy. Changelings are cool, though. Have to keep going. So, anyway. Anyone else here got with the mask? Here with the mask or just me? You can put the mask on and they let you through. I guess you just have to keep succeeding on wisdom saving throws. Maybe, maybe. We need to see if there's any more loot in here though. Because I was a little bit shy of taking things. And now the hag is dead. Maybe her victims are free. Oh my god, look at the way she died with her legs like... Some kind of frog. Mmm, lovely. F5. Whew. This is what happens with every single... Every single drink I get for myself. is If it has an open top, it's automatically Mog's water. Did you feed the void? It's not time yet. She wants the foods, but it's not time. She has her food at 8pm-ish. So I could have fed her early, but... I mean, you did have a very big breakfast today. Probably quite an overambitious breakfast. 
because she didn't eat much yesterday, so I filled her bowl like two times as full, and she hasn't even eaten all of it yet. Even though she will ask for new food at exactly 8 p.m. But hello, oh, you ordered some iron brew, did you, pets? Oh, I got you some. Here you go. Fresh from the underdark. Definitely iron brew. I wouldn't trick you now, my lovely. Look at this small kitty. She's starving. She needs to grow. Yeah, she's clearly starving. You clearly need to feed her more treats. What is what is this position you've gotten the camera into? What is going on here? Oh, hello. Hi there. You just chilling? Yeah. You like playing Baldur's Gate, don't you? Hmm. She she enjoys this one. I think it's more of a chill title, so she definitely enjoys. She had a full English breakfast. Uh, she did technically. She had like some disgusting. I don't know what it is, like beef or chicken or something mixed with uh, dry food as well, you know, for a bit of crunch. She likes the luxury. She's very fussy now, though. All right, so if you're just joining, we just killed Auntie Ethel. The hag is dead. The deed is done. And the ungrateful little shite that we saved went running out here. So I'm going to assume that she is still hers, uh-huh. No, that's Karlek. Well, the only place she could have gone is through the witch's portal. So let's go see if we can find her. Karlek, are you okay? You gonna join the party? Come on. We have work to do, friend. Let's try this. She must be out here. Maybe we can convince her to come to the Druid's Grove. Chasm. Oh, God. Is that just... Yeah, it's very chasm-y. For sure. She must have come this way. Hello? Oh, there she is. I've got more cheese to throw. Are you okay? Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> I found a wand. I think it can resurrect your dead husband. Really? Did I? Did I find a wand? I mean, if it has a chance of working, I don't know whether I'm being mean and yeah. It's gonna bring him back, not quite as himself though, surely. Oh, it would be a horrible twisted end to the tale if we raised her husband from the dead. And then he ended up killing her. Let's try. What? You can. I can try. Oh, you this thing. Oh. Oh no. Yes, oh no. Acrid. Well, does this look a bit evil? It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I kind of want to try it. I have saved. We know how this story ends. When people try and bring back their dead loved ones, they never come back the same. What could go wrong? Yeah, let's go. Oh, Connor. Ah, see, he's what? fine. What's happening? Why is he still dead? No, he's alive, look, he's moving. He just needs a shower, he'll be fine. He's ready to be the daddy to your baby. You. The creature yearns for a master. <laughs> okay. What have you done to him? I brought him back. Huh, the creature's bound to this wand. How useful. So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? Hold on, maybe it's not permanent. No, I think it is. Oh, this isn't what she promised! I wanted 
him back, back the way he was, not this. This is your husband. Do you want him or not? Don't worry, I have the wand. I'll make use of him. We can always bury him again. Um. Yeah, we can always bury him again, you know, if it makes you feel better. Um. I don't say... Th saying that I think I can make use of her dead husband doesn't seem like the nicest thing or the most sensitive thing. I don't know what we can always bury him again really means. Like, I mean, is that asking if she wants us to kill him? No! Don't put him in the ground! He was... He is afraid of the dark. I'll do it. I'll take him. Are you sure you want to do this? Your husband's gone. This thing is just a monster. Oh, it's definitely going to end up killing her eventually. Uh, are you sure? I promised him I'd fix this. And I'm gonna. Maybe... Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. I don't I'll, know. I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's... Let's go. <laughs> wasn't the best idea. What I mean... Happened? Standing here arguing won't change it. With hindsight... Why do I feel like we're going to be on the road to Baldur's Gate and there's going to be some shack somewhere and we're going to find her body and him leaning over her body, eating her guts? It would be kind of poetic. Although... She's she's pregnant. She's she's gonna have a baby. <laughs> but I feel even worse if she dies. Oh well. <sighs> that went swimmingly. Only if she loses the control world. Well, exactly. If she loses it and someone else gets it and uses it her against her. Or if she loses the thing or breaks it and he just goes wild. Oh, the tea house key. Oh, what's Maybe this I for? Pockets. What? The tea house key. Is there something? Is there something else in here? Oh, it's gone into my key rings. Okay, so there must be something else for us to find. Take everything. Take everything. <laughs> We have been cursed. Meaty treats for the starving floof. Meaty treats. Oh, are you are you blessing the mog with the meaty treats? Thank you so much for the six sixty six. You know that's enough to buy mog six of her favourite treats ever. They're only like ninety nine p each. So mog six treats, not all at once though. Would you like to give her a treat? I will allow it. She hasn't technically eaten her dinner yet, but you know. Just as a treat. Thank you so much, Nev, for the shinies. Crunch. There you go. Make sure you crunch it. Don't swallow it whole. Yeah, eat it properly, creature. Let's have a good look around here. Ooh, a crystal ball. Take that for some camp decor. Are the, are the butter buns okay now? I mean, the hag is dead, so maybe they're not poisoned anymore. Oh, they look so tasty. I love bread. White bread. It doesn't look very suspect. I think it's okay. The tart is spoiled, so I won't take that. Oh, dagger root. Ooh, a cauldron. Hashtag cottage core. I'm taking that. Lords of Madness. Of all the demon lords, few has made their mark on the world as firmly as Yenogu. 
Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen gnolls. How are gnolls created? First, a chosen Yunogu must do as their master wills, kill. A hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim, and a gnoll is born of the gutted belly of the hyena. Gnolls thus are born hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to satiate their hunger. That satiation is in itself an offering to Yanogu, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the gnolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles made their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of knowledge pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to whoever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. <laughs> yeah, gnolls are terrifying. We already fought some on the bridge. We have a key. So I think there might be an outhouse or something that we haven't been able to access yet. I used the wand and then hopefully I gave it to her. <laughs> 99 people, one tree. Oh no, you get like six in a pack. You get six in a pack. She's not quite that bougie. What's the Yanogu book? What's this one? A series of recipes accompanied by anecdotes about the meals in question. This is a twist on the traditional dwarven iglach stew. Those non-dwarven who can't translate that, don't bother. No point frightening yourselves. Just make sure that once you burn the alcohol away, do not add the dried venom. Substitute it with some other sour whatever agrees with your milky constitution. As to how I discovered this one, back during my watchman days, a drow thief I caught spiked my supper. The look on his face when I coughed it down was near as good as the stew. I see, I see. Mmm, delicious. There's a crude chest here. Is this? Open up. The one I can open before, maybe? Do I need the key? Oh no. It's not got the really good stuff in it. Got some croakers, bottles. Where is all your loot, Ethel? Yeah, the null fight at the cave. Oof. I got really lucky during that fight. I managed to roll three natural 20s in a row. So I, I made the head knoll kill the other knolls and bash their heads in. It was fun. Hmm. It's weird that she has like this antechamber here. There's not fake halls or anything, are there? No. There must be someone down here then. Let's go see if the guy with the mirror is okay. He's still there and he's not screaming. Wait, is there a hag there? What the fuck? There's no way that's Ethel. F5. There's no way that's Ethel. Uh, I killed Ethel. Uh, is that her sister? Hello? She's there! I killed her! You are as thick as they come, sweetness. 
This is my personal I playhouse. I fucking killed you, Ethel. You don't have an invite. Get out. I think it might be bugged. No shit. <laughs> oh no. Tell me where my arena is. Yeah, I have no idea. I think I'll stay for a while, you know, seeing as I killed you. Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or Wait, you'll end up if I reload, because sometimes, so this has happened before in my playthrough, where there'll be a corpse, but the corpse is standing up. So it looks like it's alive, but it's not really live. And I've had a few things like that. And sometimes when I reload, it, it just works. So we'll see. I wonder if it's because you knocked her out, maybe. But then I did actually kill her. Now we get to kill her again. Let's go. But then she won't be... Surely she won't be down in the cave because that was a scripted thing. And that's already happened. And Meirene is already gone. What the heck? Need to find a way forward. I mean, I could fight her here. You, me, 1v1. I do need to take a rest, though. Got the drop. Oh, wait, I dropped some? That explains a few things. Uh, you killed her before? You can do it again. As long as she stays exactly where she is. What are the current drops for Baldur's Gate 3, then? I had no idea. I thought we had a few more faces around here than usual today. Clues for the camp. Different ones to these. Because the first round of drops, it was the purple outfit. These are obviously the best camp clothes. Ah, uh, anything to say, folks, about Auntie Ethel? Need something? Yes, you. I, I don't have anything to say at the moment, though, unfortunately. What's up for discussion? Speak. It's the purple outfit again for PlayStation. Ah, that makes sense. Well met. Hello. No one wants to talk to me. You okay there, Gail? Gail, where did your hat go? Oh, I'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. My condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. Do you need a snack? Do you need a snack? That is most gratifying to hear. May I? I can't help just now. Bear with me, please. Why does that need a persuasion check? What have I got? That's a cool flail. Ring of color spray. I mean, you can, you can do color spray already. You can eat this one. There. Thank you. You're so welcome. Ooh. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. You're so dramatic. Mm. Gail? What's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time. Like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please. I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. What's on your mind? That conversation we just had? Hmm. Hmm. 
cool that there are other storage boxes around. So like, I can have a little storage box for Gale over here. I have a little table, I can put things in it. And then of course, the stash, the almighty stash. Good boy. He's a clever boy. Yes. Good boy. Good scritches. Lazel doesn't have anything to say with me. Ah, Karlak. Yeah? Just wondering how you're doing, but have a good night. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I just wanted to chat. I'm good. Well, so why is everyone glowing? Unless I pressed a special mode which highlights everything. But it did happen last time when we bugged the game out. So I'm wondering what's going on. Ah, oh, look, she's praying to the idol of Saloon, her goddess. She loves Saloon. She won't stop talking about them. You okay? Something the matter? A lot of things. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? Um, I know I always ask you this, but how am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. Okay, she still kind of and likes not me. Not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Why do I feel like I might end up falling for Shadowheart? Ah, she's so cool. I want to take her out with us next time we go. Oh, I'm encumbered. Clean your inventory has been redeemed by chat. Excellent timing. Let me go and stash some books in the library over here, which hopefully all the books I put in there last time are still here. I'm keeping all of the law books. We're building a little law library. What's in here? It says it's empty, so <laughs> I hope they're in there. They are, yeah. Okay. Is there um like a, a quick, a quick drop? Most games it's like shift click or shift right click. Don't know if there is actually. You can shift select, so like I can shift and control select. So I can do that. It's probably the quickest way. Fables of the Dimwitted Drow. That was a hearty read. Can I not sort by like readables? Oh, I got Gail's trousers. Sorry, Gail's pants. Ding, ding. I did scratch, scratch. I did. He deserves some snuggles. Was there a shortcut for add to wares? I feel like chat told me this last time and I've forgotten now. It's been too long. I guess you can just like multi-select and then add to wares afterwards. Oh, I stole a four can of spoon. For no apparent reason. What's this? Ooh, yeah, no good book. A lemon for no reason. Okay. We need to check gear as well and see if there's anything better for us to wear. Ah, yes. Also, does an auto sort exist? 
that a thing yet? <laughs> Can I sort by type in my inventory automatically? That would be nice. Oh yeah, Scratch is the best boy in all the realms. Portrait of Iphon. Yes, I'm keeping that. I'm quite rich. I should buy things. And I've got a bunch of weapons I'm never going to use. Rags. That'll do for now. Oh my, am I still encumbered? Oh no. Uh, looks like it. Hmm. Too much haggis. This stores all of my alchemy ingredients. Potions, poisons. Weird arrows. Lazelle's not carrying much. We can give them to Lazelle. She loves holding on to random things. And Karlak needs, like, bonus weapons to just throw at people, so. Any spare weapons I have, they now belong to Karlak. Pitchfork, yeah. I'm just gonna keep collecting random items for her to throw. Remember to pack a baguette? I haven't got a baguette! At least at the moment. I think another character who's not in the party might be holding on to it at the moment. Haggis, could I send that to me, Campchis? Mmm. Rotting fish. Someone will buy it. Merchants sure are desperate. Is it in the uh the stash, Seems maybe? I don't know if I would have sent the baguette back to stash. Let's see. Hey Swanny, welcome on in! It's good to see the smallest swanny. No, no baguette. No baguette. The camp supply container. Uh, where is that again? I only know this one. You know where it is unless it's like here somewhere like the alchemy oh oh yeah inside the inventory camo no camp camp supplies mm, can't remember what it's called alchemy vouch keychain I do have it. Put it in the camp box, probably. Probably. To save one room. Let me have a look. Inventory management of the highest level. There we go. The supply sacks. I am now very encumbered, but let's have a look. Baguette. <gasps> Baguette! Can't forget the bigger. Oh, there's more cheese! Excellent. Oh, we've got all manner of breads in here. She, she can throw loaves and cheeses at people. Excellent. There we go. Job done. She can have the bones as well. She can have these rubbish daggers. And clubs. I 
I love this music in camp. Rotten carrots. Yeah, take them, Karlek. She's just going to be our mule for random heavy objects now. Because she can throw them and she does damage, so it works. I am now not encumbered. I wonder if there's an OST for this you can buy yet. The full OST is now on Spotify, so you can listen to it on Spotify. I've been jamming to it whenever I have to do boring adulting. Ugh, take a full rest, why don't we? Seems like a good idea. <sighs> and Starry didn't try to eat anyone. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, I can't believe she's alive again. Well, time to kill her again. We did it once before, we can do it again. Everyone crouch. All right, time to scope This is 100% a bug, but let's do it. If this isn't important. Okay, so we're in a bit of a bottleneck here. I think we just start combat. Let's just do it. Let Starry get the stealth hit if you can. Uh, he's got disadvantage against her. Why? Is it because she's a bitch? Hello. Hello, I'm not hiding you anymore. Are as thick as they come. I am going to mess you up a second time. This is my personal playhouse and you don't have an invite. Get out. No. Forgive me, I'll, I'll leave right away. I think I'll stay a while. Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? <laughs> leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Mmm. <laughs> okay, so... Where is she? Did she just leave? What? <laughs> is she dead? Or is she now back in the house? Because it thinks that we're supposed to be in the house for the fight. Let's see. What's going on? I just really hope this doesn't have consequences later because the game thinks that we, uh, we didn't kill her. Hello? Auntie Ethel Deary, are you actually dead? I feckin' hope you are, because that took ages to kill you. You may be able to override your success saving Marina, but with her dead. I mean, technically, we could. We could go back to the very end of the hag fight, because... Or when I saved. I saved before we downed her. I don't know. Did you loot her layer backroom downstairs already? Yes. Yeah, with the one with the portal in, we looted. So, hmm. I didn't mean to imply it was a desirable thing. Yeah, we would still like to save Marina, so there you go. The house fight glitched out for me. She got mad, left into the fireplace, and no red cap showed up. Very anticlimactic. Well, I guess whatever will be, will be. I can't be asked to go and fight her again. And maybe these guys are free now? I, d I don't know if they count as being freed. He's not crying anymore, so... I guess it worked. And she's counted as being dead because he's free, so... Surely... Oh, don't... Oh, oh my head! Oh no, no, why ain't I petrified? You wanted to be petrified? I, I thought you, uh, I thought that wasn't what you wished for. Bachi, Bachi with the shinies. Let me replay those shinies. Oh, they are glorious. And now they're falling all over Astarian, so they're even better. Thank you for the shinies. 
it's not a bug. Hags are like demons. They always come back unless you kill them in their realm. Lore-wise, yes, but uh, bug-wise, it is absolutely a bug <laughs> because it was the same conversation that you have if you're in the house with her to start with. So, yeah. <laughs> it's it, Lore-wise, yes, she can come back, but it's a lengthy process and it's very difficult and painful and she shouldn't come back straight away. That's definitely uh, not what we were expecting. Because I saved you. You're welcome. But... But how? The hag said there was no cure. And that the bite... Ladig was bite was fatal. I think she lied to you. What was the bite exactly? I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides... End up on the outside. Ugh. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. No, I feel... I feel great. It was all a trick. You probably weren't ever ill. Look for remnants of the hag's magic. Uh, I have plus one to both. We'll try with the magic. Only a plus one. Oh, no. Fail. I'll use my inspiration. Why not? Yay! Easy. Astarian's not naked. He's just fashion. Exactly. He detects traces of decaying magic within him. Likely the cause of his disease. But that doesn't make a lick of sense. The bite ain't magical. Unless... That... Double-crossing, filthy, yep. lying hag! She... Made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks. How long were you trapped like this? I'm almost impressed. That's evil, even by a hag standards. Evil don't begin to cover it. My kids were only babes when I left. The stones know how old they are now. Oh, they're probably all dead. Focus on the positive. At least now you'll see them again. Hopefully they've grown. Children are disgusting. That's definitely a very Astarian thing to say. Focus on the positive, you know? Only because of you. I... I now he's got grateful. no way to repay you. Money usually does the trick. Don't worry, I didn't help just to get a reward. Damn it, you could have said as much from the start. Oh, you'll figure it out. You owe me a debt, and I intend to collect. You won't be left wanting. You've my word. Thank you. You're so Bated welcome. Breath. We don't need to stealth anymore. She is properly dead. I think the game is counting her as being dead now. Otherwise, they wouldn't be free. Well, she's still dead because she was blinded and then killed. So no chance for her. wonder about the followers, though. Oh, she's dead dead because... The head. The mirror glints in the light. Can we do anything? The mirror with it? glints in the light. Can I turn off the light. The mirror glints in the light. Okay. Can we smash it? Whoa! One D four penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, yeah, that was 100% cursed. Well, I mean, at least I destroyed it. Job done. Can I pick this up now? See. My dearest Efren, he no, I just told us me the story. The disease that ravaged him. Hello. Is the hat gone? Feeling better. God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She's dead. You're safe now. May she burn in the nine hells. The hag. How long has this guy been here? There's never been a more vile creature. The things she did to me. Why were you here? I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. 
I had a choice between two lives, and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hag to help me see what the future would hold. Got what I wished for, too. You definitely did. I saw my future self. A corpse, rotten with maggots. And everyone around me dead. Putrid and dead. You mentioned choosing between two lives. What were they? A boring story. Stay or go. Marriage and kids or a life of novelty. <laughs> I lost my best years rather than just choose. And what about the one you were going to marry? Maybe they're out there somewhere. Leave all you can and be careful. Yes. I will. Thank you. Okay. I want the hourglasses decor. My gentle I can't Lauren. take it though. He wished to know what was to come. What about the door? A thief who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my. I home. guess there was no way of curing the man who was the door. No way of saving him. Let's check on the cultists, though. Hello? I see their blood. But their bodies, they're, they're gone. And after all that effort, I went to not to kill them. Only their blood remains. <laughs> Oh, well. Weird. The traps are gone. There must be something else Auntie Ethel was hiding. I don't... I don't trust this to be it. Perception check on what? Oh, on the vent. That's okay. They won't bother us anymore. Step carefully. There's a trap. There's a trap. This looks sussy. There's another tree door. Too high. Uh, I can fly though. As a bird. Mm -hmm. I'd love to, thanks. Aren't you guys better at jumping by default? Yeah. There's another door here. Can't go there. Why not? Lock picking impossible. <laughs> but I have the hag's key. Can't give up now. Let me try with... Well, if I turn into a bird, or I can just give the key to Karlak. I guess. Okay. Well, well, well. Lockpicking impossible. Can't get there. I feel like if the hag was going to hide anything, it'd be in there. And it's definitely a door because it's coming up as lockpicking being impossible. I will allow chat to tell me if I should be able to do this and it's just bugged out because I feel like maybe that's the case. Hmm. Marching. She's got the key. Ah, actually, that's not the hag's key. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I did pick up the hag's key, didn't I? I guess it was just for a chest or something that we opened? Maybe it maybe it wasn't. Not yet, as far as I know. Okay. Maybe we just can't get in there yet. Okay. 
what path lies before me. Then I guess we might have found everything. Trap. Trap. Be cautious. Don't stand on it. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to leave you behind. You can join us now. Group is too far away. I'm gonna have to walk him there. Come on, hold my hand this way. Full disclosure, I never went that way. I came in from the other side. Hmm. Down into the darkness we go. There we go. Now we're linked. All right. What now? And there's her body. Even though we just saw her again. Spooky. is weird to me. Another like, why does she have another platform here? Doesn't seem to be a reason for it, but it's there. <laughs> Control. I completely forgot about this. Just raises and lowers the cage. Very high tech. What's inside? Nothing. And that's just a nice little cage. Can we go down there? It's the chasm. Usually if you can't go down there, you mouse over it and it just says chasm or void. And that means, nope, you can't. Okay. Nothing up there either. Well then, well then. Oh, just now seeing this, I realized I didn't search back through the poison cloud areas. Now I'll have to go back when I play again. Yeah, there's, there should be, I feel like there should be the cultists alive as well, because I didn't kill them, but I think it's something to do with the, the save state. I'm sure they're out there, they escaped, they're living their best lives, and we'll see them in Baldur's Gate at the pub. They're just fine. And now to explore the rest of the swamp. Although what happens to the red caps now, I wonder? We'll have to find out. I need to get rid of my bane as well. I don't think anyone can cleanse me though. So we're now on the other side of the hag's house. Blub, myth, blub. Ugh. <clears throat> <clears throat> So many flowers here though. So much potential for herbalism. All right, red caps, I'm coming for you. Weird better. Fetted well. Fetted smell assaults your nostrils. I wondered if the smell Dead had cleared. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Bye then. I won't be drinking that. Is that shiny over there? Gandril? I don't remember you. Hello? Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You uh, catch a waft of something foul, metallic, necromancer? and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. 
An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Pardon, but who or what is a girl? A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, Ooh. seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Mm. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. Ooh. And I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. I assume you want to kill the hag. Sorry about that. I already... What? What? <laughs> what? What? Did I get spotted by the caps? Where are they? <laughs> it's down here. They're angry because we killed their mother. I didn't click anything. I think they just saw us. I'm pretty sure they just spotted us. We came into their vision cone. Should be easy enough to finish off anyway. For a second, I thought I started combat with a new guy. Despite everything. You got what you asked for. Red caps. I was wondering where they'd gone and whether they decided to stop pretending being sheep. Seems like they're very committed, but only up to a certain point. Now that they know the witch is dead, not so interested. Okay, uh, what can we do? Oh, I can triple a creature's jumping distance as well. I totally forgot I can do that. Okay, I should probably... I mean, how many are there? Okay, there's quite a few. I want to try the Roth again. The Roth, eh? I didn't get much of a chance last time. On my way. Yeah. Didn't they see you were talking? I don't know. The least they could have done is just wait until I'd finished my conversation and then murder me. The animal form is badass. It's so cool. You also can cast Dancing Lights, the cantrip, whilst you're in that form. And charge. Alright, uh... Karlak, I would just run towards them very angrily, as you normally do. Moving. And then shove him. <laughs> Aww, come on. You shall strike him. That target is too far, just out of range. Ah, Lazelle, my girlfriend. I do wonder what Lazelle romance is like. I might try it on a second playthrough. I imagine her romance just starts very suddenly. It's, it's not a slow burn. She probably just decides like, Ugh, I hate you, but also I want to fuck you. It's probably how it goes. Did I get too far? No, it's not. Oh, come on. Here we go again. You're not far off, actually. <laughs> oh, I love that I'm right. <laughs> but yeah, she's not going to slowly fall in love with you and be like, oh, actually, I, I, I quite like you. You're okay. You know, I judged you too harshly before. She's not a car lag. She'll hide her emotions until the very last second. Incoming. Yaka poppy, yaka poppy, ya 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 bugabi. 
Okay. Just run. Run there. Make way. She could action surge, but eh. I'll wait. They'll come to me. Oh! Little shit! Oh my god, they pack a punch, actually. Is he stealth? I don't think he is. Maybe he is. Just a quick... Into the shadows. Well, that failed. Oh! Lozelle, no! Oh my god, the red caps are harder than the witch was. Yeah, the hoof sound effects are great. I feel like you, you could uh, do it with coconuts. Okay. Charge forth! Not enough, not enough movements. Oh, is it because of my debuff? Oh god. Death won't take me oh, yet. fine. I'll just smack him normally then. Smack him. Go on, girl. He's only got 13 health, but we could do a bit of overkill. A little bit of overkill. And then we could rage. Sure. Because it's fun. And then next time we'll be able to throw things. Finish him. Ah, not quite. You disappoint me, Lazel. Strike him once more. Yes. Gah. And now Asari can do a little range attack. Critical miss. Wow, Asari. You probably can't stealth here. Well done. Ooh, ooh! The multi-attack. And there's another one. I didn't see him before. Lazelle is the most badass fighter in the whole game. Her damage gets crazy later on. Is this Starion wearing Lazelle's underwear? Of course. It's not her underwear anymore. Starry has officially claimed it. He loves it. Just the right amount of pizzazz, you know. Gives him a surprise round on his enemies. No, oh, he's saved against the charge. Oh. Well, I'd have to expend a spell slot to heal, but I'm going to try it because I haven't done it before. Did that even work? I don't feel like that worked. Wonderful. Slap them! How are you healed? Oh, there's two of you, on top of each other. Okay, do the big, do the big slam. Do the reckless. Yeah. And then we're going for frenzied. Yeah. Oh, Karlak! Oh, sweet mummy Karlak! I love you. Right. Go deal with them now. something get him oh sorry oh whole person uh, yeah i can dash as a bull can't i let me let me put it on Just catch up with him whilst i can Can't attack same turn. Car like though, he's gonna wreck him. Reckless attack is just so good. Oh, you missed though. Here we go again, frenzy strike. Oh, the damage. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Try the slap. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Just face the reality. Everyone okay? Oh, Lazelle, you're on the floor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait there. You're fine. Need a hand? Ooh, got a boo-boo. I feel like Lazelle would just look up at you like, I do not need your help to stand. Stay away. I can get up by myself. Like, she wouldn't want any help. She'd want to do it herself. But sometimes we get by with a little help from our friends. She's not into it. I do have a boo-boo. Chick. It hurts us. Nothing I can't handle. I made a mistake, Tiefling Druid. I can't believe I can turn into a cute little kitty cat. You made a mistake? Being a Tiefling Druid? That doesn't sound like a mistake to me. Kitty cats are never mistakes. Hey, Kippy. I quickly wanted to let you know that there's tons of comments on YouTube right now that they're loving your narration and voice acting. Aww. Thank you for letting me know. I was kind of nervous about that coming out. I assumed it was coming out tonight. So I can now tell you guys if it's out there on YouTube. So Call Me Kevin is a YouTuber and I edit for him, uh, which is really cool to do. I really enjoyed doing edits for him. And for Baldur's Gate 3, he's been playing through the game and he did a part one of Baldur's Gate 3. And me and Kip had this idea, well, mostly Kip had this idea that anytime he reloads, I could come in as the narrator and be like, ah, oh, Kevin had made this mistake again. And in, in the style of the Baldur's Gate narrator. So we added in these little inserts of like little, little funny quips of, of saying like, ah, oh, Kyle reached, Kyle? Why am I calling him Kyle? Carl! Carl reached into the ethers of time and went back and with chronomancy and all that kind of thing. And we put them in. And part two is now out and I was editing away on that one this week. And so me and Kip worked on the edits together and then I am also the narrator voice in that video. So if you hear that on Kevin's channel, it is indeed me. One or two of you sussed it in the comments section and I didn't even know you watched Kevin. And there are a few of you like, wait, is that Dawn? Is that Dawn's voice? Also, I will, I, I'm gonna print out this comment and frame it on my wall but someone who watched the video commented and they thought it was Amelia Tyler. They were like, whoa, you got Amelia Tyler to waste her time doing the voiceover for your video? <laughs> so I, I take that as a mark of respect. Kevin who? Call me Kevin. So much more different than that do not call me Kevin guy. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a second one of those comments on the new video now. Wait, what does it say? <laughs> what does it say? Kevin Hoomst. But no, his Baldur's Gate videos are really funny. I, I got some mild spoilers for things that I'd forgotten. Like I'd already done in early access, but forgotten from editing Kevin's videos. Um, and one of those was the hag. So Kevin actually goes to find the hag, but it ends up very differently for him. Mm hmm. I'll quickly send a screenshot on Discord. Who is this narrator? Seriously, really good. Thank you, random commenter, 17 seconds ago. Why, why thank you? Wait, Kevin, did you seriously get the narrator to voice in the video? Ah, yes, we fooled them once again. I, I feel like my Lazelle voice is stronger than my Amelia Tyler voice. Like, I, I can mimic Lazelle, okay? <laughs> But Amelia Tyler has that husk that I can't... I'm, see, I still just sound like Lazelle. I can't replicate it. But yes, it is much fun watching Kevin's video. You should all definitely um, go and watch that video and leave a comment saying how incredible the voice acting is and especially how top tier the editing is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and say, whoa, whoever edits these videos is insanely talented. You should pay them lots of money. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, mention Kip by name and be like, whoa, Kip Soup is a genius. What could go wrong? <laughs> Without ad, ad block, we can get a raise. Yes, Master Kevin will, will give us a sock. Yes, Master Kevin will bless us. I can afford to buy food again and stop living off exposure dollars. But no, it's seriously been really fun editing for Kevin and he's a lovely boss. 
he's a lovely boss. I got so lucky with my very first video editing gig. So me and Kip work in a team and uh, Kip, Kip goes through the initial footage and cuts it up and adds fancy things and then sends it over to me and I mess it up and add more fancy creative edits that usually ruin it on the top. That's my job. Random commenter number 69. The way you incorporate the narrator into these videos is gold. <laughs> oh dear. Well, now I'm done for, right? Because Kevin doesn't normally do series these days. Oh, it's a frog. Hello. I need to talk to him. But he doesn't normally do series these days. But almost every single comment on the first Baldur's Gate video was, Kevin, please make this a series. This has to be a series. So now I feel like he might do a series. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be being the narrator in almost every video, I'm guessing, if, if he is going to play more of it. We'll see. What to do? But I love watching Baldur's Gate, even for content that I've already seen. People have different reactions to everything. And the chain of events never goes in the same order. So it's one of those games that never gets old. Can I? I am an animal, so can I talk to animal? Hag is gone! Oh. Happy! Yay! You're welcome! Glad I could help, Mrs. Froglet. Happy! Presnat? Where is the Presnat? Lead me to the Presnat. I'll try not to step on you. Uh, can I swim? I don't know if I can. Where is the Presnat? Ooh, there's a chest here, though. What? Where is the Presnat? Shiny? What is? Oh, it was hidden. Oh, Scorching Ray. I love Scorching Ray. Oh, Gail can have that. Thank you, Mrs. Ribbit. You come to see the frog mug? Frog mug. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. You guys didn't see that, but she's doing the tail vibration. That means she's very excited about something. What are you excited about? Are you just excited to see me? Yeah, I was so freaked out the first time I saw her do that. So, with most cats, wiggling the tail means they're a bit pissed off. But with Mog, when she's excited about something, she goes like this. And her tail goes... So, if you go to the cupboard where her treats are, tail starts going. If she's just really happy to see you, tail starts going... It's kind of like having a dog. But it just means she's, like, super hyper. Hi. Oh, is this a time reminder? The time is 8.35pm in the Southern Elven Forest. Moogle's dinner time is 8pm BST. Moogle's dinner time is late by approximately 35 minutes. Do, do you need dinner? Is that what you're saying? Uh, okay, shall we, shall we get you some dinner before you destroy my microphone and eat that instead? Okay, okay. Let's get Mog some dinner. I'm sure we'll be safe in the swamp. F5. Yes, my cat alarm is vibrating. She keeps pushing the microphone into my face. Mog. Is it time? Did you forget the foods? I didn't forget the foods, but I was like, oh, in the break earlier, it was too early to feed her. So I was like, okay, I'll wait until next break. But like Baldur's Gate always does, it sucked up my time. Time passed in a strange and quick way. Now we've dealt with the red caps, it's time to loot. Well, and finish my conversation with that random guy. Because for some reason, it exited the conversation. I'll stop being cow now. How now, magic cow? Hey, Swanee. Hi, Fix as well. Good to see you. Where the heck was he? Oh, he's over here. I'm still cursed. This is what happens when you touch cursed things. Oh, Lizelle has one health. I'm sure he's nice. It's fine. We won't get into trouble. You tracked me down again, my friend. Hello. Would that I had as much luck with the beast I'm hunting. Ah. Well. 
I missed that entire conversation because the red caps attacked me. Who were you hunting down? A vampire? Can you give me the context again, please, Gandral? Please? I might have to Google what he says in the first conversation because I have zero context. I'll try not to find spoilers. <laughs> He's looking for a vampire. I wonder if it's a Starian. I wonder. See, I'm never going to know what he said. I'm tempted to go back because it feels like there could have been like an option like, a, oh, I'll help you or screw you, go away. I like vampires. So... I'm, I think I might save scum just to look because the save we have here is just after we came out because we're right by the mushroom circle. It's before the red caps attacked. So if we can talk to him, I know we lose the red cap fight, but I can kill them again. It's fairly easy. You never met that guy. I'm in act three and I never met him. There's so many variations of things. And sometimes you just don't run into them. Moving in. All right. Here we go again. I'm still cursed. I'm not feeling good. Will it be cured by a short rest? I don't want to waste my hit points, but... The Riverside Tea House. Ah, oh, they make it sound so nice. I started praying on release. Still not left Act 1. See, that's a good thing. Just explore as much as you want to. There's no rush to finish Baldur's Gate. I'm going to be in Act 1 for a long time. I'm hoping to do full completion, but you never really know what full completion is because there's so much that's hidden so you can think that you've done everything and it's time to move on and there still might be one thing hiding in the shadows you never know okay what if i go around this way is there a way around this way let's all get up here before the red caps come i'm gonna try and go like behind him so that we don't trigger the red caps okay hello Nice oh, to meet stranger. you. Forgive the aroma. Why you stink? You catch a waft of something. He's a vampire fine, hunter then. Metallic and sickly sweet. Have you dealt with Ethel? Oh, oh yeah. Vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. So we You're killed a Ethel today. Monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girls. <laughs> He's couples. really enjoying this. Oh, who could this be? AJ! AJ, welcome back! It's so good to see you. I hope everything's going well in the human world. Even Mog has come to see you. Even Mog has come to see you. She's she's so excited to see your soul. Thank you so much for 22 months and welcome back into the Wispy Fold. Oh, hi! No, now you come to see me. Now you come to see me. You want more treats? I can't give you more treats. You haven't even eaten your food that's in your bowl. That's not how it works. You gotta, you gotta actually, like, eat your food first. Astarian's looking very intimidating. I know, right? With that grin as well. He's posing. He's just posing. Say nothing. Uh, oh. Get a fix! Fix is back as well! Five months of immortality. Soon to claim that extra shiny six month badge. Welcome back! Good to have that soul. Astarian's expression reminds me of Prince Charming in Shrek. Yeah, the slightly raised eyebrow. I knew you're a jackass, but a racist? I'm shocked. I mean, maybe he's had a bad experience. Who uh, or what is a girl? We'll ask him that again. A mystical and dangerous people. We steal your chicken. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. 
Alas, I am a simple wanderer. Hunter a simple wanderer of beasts. And monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. You sure about that? Uh so what monster are you hunting? Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold. Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. His name is Astarian. <laughs> But I fear he's gone to ground. I was hoping the hag of these lands could help me flush him out. But hmm. it seems she is no more. Well, why would you trust a hag? Why are you working with a hag? Don't make deals with hags. I don't like you even more now. Uh, and when you find this Astarion, will you kill him? Because I heard he's really attractive. And you should at least have the hanky pank with him first. And, uh, you know, like, I'm sure he blends in really well. And no one knows where he is. Only spawn. Pity. Not like it's a real vampire. Oh, time for us to go now. Good luck with your quest. Oh, here he is. This is Astarian. <laughs> I do kind of want to introduce him and be like, Astarian. Gandral, Gandral, Astarian. And then just watch him bite his neck. Um... When you find this Astarian, will you kill him? Not this time. Oh. My orders are to capture him. Really? Uh, uh, and bring him where exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Oh. Well. He only spawned pity, not a real vampire. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. <laughs> they are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. Yes, I'm sure they can creep right up on you. Interesting. Astarian, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think, Starry? I don't know, I just... uh. You, you've been around a bit more. You're a keen adventurer. I'm sure you've seen such things in your time. That's a starian. <laughs> oh, shit! No, no, no! no. I said his name! These Fuck. days, I'm making the impossible look easy. May I? Absolutely. Absolutely. Feast, my baby. Feast. Excellent. Everyone Vampire. disapproves. It can't be. Eh, easy peasy fight. Oh. I didn't mean to out him like that. I literally... I, I meant to... I didn't know it would actually say Astarian. I thought it would be like, what do you think? Rather than actually saying his name. And then we could play with him and have a little bit of a tease. But no. Oh, God. He must be using uh, something coated that really hurts vampires. Well, this is fun. What is going on? Everyone's poisoned. She's gonna miss. Wonderful. Get out of the poop. Excellent. Another fight. Let's go. Let's go. You can have a moonbeam. Enjoy. Are you a werewolf? I bet you're a werewolf. He's a werewolf. Kill him. Poor guy. <laughs> well, you know, he was going to capture Vampire. a Starian. It's go time. I mean, like a Starian. If I fail this fight, I'll reload. It would be nice to him. If we do end up killing him, then more fun for us. More murder for us. Well... The guy has damage. I'll give him that. I will not know failure. But so does Lazal. Shove him. Yeah. No one messes with my vampire boy. <laughs> Having fun, Karlak? Come on. He can rage. You 
we should help people out there. Oh. 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 A double attack. Get him. Oh no, not the red caps as well. Oh, it's just gonna get messier. As we all know, no one else is called Astarion on the whole coast. It's quite a unique name, I've got to say. Toes right. Okay. I didn't even get a 10. I'm not worthy. I think you can even betray Asarian too. Well, I think that probably was the first option, which is just like, well, you want him? Here he is. Whereas the second option we did was a bit more playful. I'm probably dead. Oh, he's got a ball friend. Gandra has potions, of course. He's a monster hunter. He comes prepared. Get a miss. Yeah. No time to waste. Worth a try. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I'm gonna realize. <laughs> it wasn't fair that the Redcaps also joined in. It wasn't a fair 1v1 fight. Well, 4v1, but still, a fair 4v1 fight. That's what I wanted. Hmm. I just want to play with him. Or maybe let him go. With haste. The red caps joined in every time so far. I was watching Kevin's newest video, and when you came back from your break, you made me jump as I thought it was from Kevin's video. Boo! I'm everywhere. I also edited that video. My voice is in that video. I'm always watching. There's no escape. Hello. You tracked me down again, my friend. Oh, oh, this with is the, the other save. Hang on. With the beast I'm hunting. Let's load the putrid bog save. That was the good one. And everyone will be full health. I'll let him go. But first, we annoy Starium by making comments about vampires. Oh, I heard vampires are terribly ugly. Ghastly to behold. Really, creatures of evil and darkness. Kill wounds won't work on my spell. I love the addition you made right after he says, the narrator never lies. Never. No, the narrator wouldn't lie to you. For, for some of the uh, text bits in the narration this time, I wanted it to be uh, as if he was holding a gun to my head and, and making me say that Kevin is a top tier gamer. Okay, 
Redcaps are there. Let's just scoot on by. Millie wouldn't lie. I love Millie. She's such a talented human. But he is a top tier gamer. Yes, all hail Lord Kevov. Hi. Oh, stranger. Hello. Forgive F5. For you, you my friend. You can't. Yes, you do stink. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all. We so we'll go through and do what we did before. And monster hunt. What so are you hunting? So His name is Astarian. Astarian. I fear he's gone to ground. Oh, Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Oh, only a spawn. Pity. They're not a real vampire. I during the day, we have the advantage. <clears throat> but at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they can creep right up on you. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post mm, guards at mm, night. Yeah. The threat is real. For sure. Indeed, uh, dangerous, is. dangerous stuff. We should do something about this threat. All right. Kill him if you must. We'll be careful. You know, you never know what you're going to find on the roads these days. Anyway, we should get going. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. I mean, I said we'll be careful. Now let's go. Do whatever you want. Fine, this is Astarian, the vampire spawn that you are hunting. I said we'll be careful. Let's just go. Fine, but if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. Yeah, safe travels. They better bloody not. <laughs> Is it not obvious? Is it not completely obvious that he's a vampire? Uh, well, I'm glad this man is stupid. He's probably never going to find us. Starion is very clearly a vampire. But I suppose, in his defense, it is daytime right now. And he's not supposed to be able to walk in the sunlight. And he's just here prancing around looking glorious in his harness. So, yeah, technically we, we shouldn't be able to do that. Only a vampire would dress that way. Does he not sparkle in the sun? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Only trashy vampires do that. He's much more of a refined manner of vampire. Does this mean I technically haven't found the frog yet then? Oh, I need to talk to him. Hello. Uh, hello. Look where the TV is. Hey. Hag is gone! Hag is Happy! gone! Happy! Here we go. Now they're going to lead us to the treasure. We just have to follow the hippity hop. Tav is also very oblivious to the fact when meeting him. Even though you see the bite marks and, and the fangs. Question nothing. Ribbit. Here! Shiny! Bye! Bye! Thank you. Thank you, Mochi. I need to get rid of this curse. It's very annoying. F5. Can you attack the man after you talk to him? Maybe. Or maybe we'll get another chance. I'm sure he'll pop up again. Holy water. I was checking if there was anything over here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, a reinforced greatsword. Karlak. That has throwing potential. Pick it up. A fine sword in hand. <laughs> and a fine adventure at the bottom of the swamp, no doubt. Oh. Anything special about it? Constitution saving throws plus one. Okay. Oh, that's quite a nice greatsword. What's your current one? Oh, that's slightly better. Yeah, put that on. Put that on. Enjoy. Stick him with the pointy end. 
got it. I hear that if you play as a Starian and tell the others, they basically say he was really obvious. Looking ahead. I oh, don't doubt good. it. He's not very subtle. Good for you. Should we fuck up some red caps, Karlak? What do you think? Was someone there? Absolutely. I'm right here. Why don't you get some stealthy attacks if you can? Manage to fit them in. I don't want to aggro them all at once, really, but if we have to, I will. Red caps are horrible. How much health have you got? 45. Yeah, no, there's no way we're stealth killing that. 27? Mm. I can't even crit for that much. <laughs> but I'll go say hello. He seems lonely. Fudge! Well, that's not what we planned. I think they might have seen the others as well. Oh no, they, they just saw me apparently, but I was still able to stealth attack. Oh yeah, get some juicy, juicy food. Bye-bye. Yeah, I've already attacked. Get them in the fight, quick. Join the battle. What a charmer. Get him in there. Oh, oh, I could have stealthed in, but okay. So I know you had reservations in the beginnings about Lazer Owl. What do you think now? Honestly, I'm still at pretty much the stage that I was with Lazel. She hasn't had any more conversations with me. She hasn't really opened up to me at all. So apart from her little quips during combat and sometimes when we're talking to another character, I don't know that much more about her yet. I haven't been to the crash yet though. And I think that's going to be an important one for Lazel to get to know her. Ah okay it was a cantrip Shalala. Shalala. basil i mean she's a uh, i've got it she's one that d takes time to grow on you i've heard slow burner i am fury i am death oh see she's so sweet she is fury she is death so cute. Love her. And she hit. We like that even more. Uh, hello there. There seem to be two of you here. Don't mind if I do. Anything else you can do, Starry? I don't think so. You're gonna get fucked next turn. Good luck. I had to step away. Are we fighting the guy or did the red caps interrupt us again? So I reloaded and uh, we basically just memed it and we're like, oh God, it'd be such a shame if there was a vampire around here. Anyway, have a nice day. And then we left. Astarian was annoyed at me though. He was very annoyed. He wanted to eat him. Hmm. That did nothing. Excellent. What path lies before me? Shillelagh's still active. Well, that's fun. Now this is my happy place. She loves the battle. Well, well. Look what we. Oh. Did. Oh, she could do pommel strike same turn. There you go. Whack. I love Karlak. I will ascend. And Lazel, we may love you soon. We'll see. This is your end. Oh! GC. Action surge is kind of OP. Like, I can just get another turn for free. More actions. Let's go. Yeah, sure. 
Ah, oh, disappointing. I was telling everyone how good you were, Lazel. You've shown me up now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Starry? You're not stealthing, are you? No, of course not. He's right there. Okay. Critical hit. You kind of need to leave though, friend. You don't you don't want to be here right now. I hate to admit it in front of Dawn, but I kicked a starring out of my party once, so I could multi-class rogue without messing them up. So now he just sits in the camp with Gale. You've got to give him time. He grows on you. Like a slowly spreading fungus. He's soft and squishy inside, really. Go slap him. Yeah. Okay. Starry? You okay? You alright up there? Need help? Let's cook with fire, baby. We're on our way. Do not fear. Well, fear slightly, because you're probably going to take a lot of damage. Over there. It's okay. Mummy Carlac's angry. She's got you. Uh, she could frenzy, but it's literally only this guy left, so not worth. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's that guy too. Oh, but I am fury. I am death. She is fury. She is death. I won't give in. Let's go. Time to strike. Let's see if we can do a range stream here, maybe. Okay, so he's going to attack here instead. And I'll move a little bit more close. Finish him. Oh, wait. No, that is not finishing him. Sorry. Uh... Have you got have you have you got the um evade thing? Where is the evade thing? Disengage. There we go. Run away. Excellent. Good. 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 Okay. Um. And then see if you can hit him. No. Okay. I haven't had a star in my party since we found Lazel. Tragic. You're missing out on a big opportunity, darling. They're coming for us. Not just the red caps, but the Felgars too. There's no hope for us. It's okay though. Mummy Karlak is on the case. Hello everyone, welcome on in. You join us as we take down the red caps in the swamp. We've uh, dealt with a certain auntie in the swamp and now we're just cleaning up, getting all the loot, but welcome on in. If anyone's brand new here, we love us some RPGs. And so I have been consumed by Baldur's Gate since it's come out. It's so good. Were you playing some Baldur's Gate today? Thank you so much for the raid. Ah, Karlak, come on. Oh no, Lazelle's being held. Should I not great? Shall I be an animal? I could blind people. I do like the bird form. Fly, fly, my pretty. The movement on this thing is amazing. I'm gonna blind. There we go. Can I fly away again? We bye. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. I fly in. I do my job. I leave. Let's do Legacy of Avernus. Oh. Okay. I probably should rage. Starry. Uh. You wanna like maybe make sure you're stealth? Okay. You're not doing very well. You can do a shot from there though. You could make it. <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. Okay, just move away as far as you can. I don't want you getting killed next turn. 
I was, but it started crashing. No! Were you still in Act 1 or are you in later acts? Because I'm in Act 1 and I've barely encountered any bugs. We had a weird thing with the hag going on, but apart from that. So I've heard that it gets worse in Act 2 and 3 in terms of bugs. Act 1 is very polished and then from then on, apparently it gets a little bit dicey. Act 2, okay. Fall by my hand. And then just fly away again. Bye bye. Fuck yes. <laughs> I love my combat lanes. There you go. Get us. Ah. They rolled a 12. Reckless. No. Push him. Ha Fool. Act two. I might have a corrupted save though. No. Oh, I hope you can fix it. That sucks. What class are you playing? I went through it because uh, all the all the animal forms just sounded so useful and fun. I nearly went wizard, but I always play wizard, so I thought I'd do something different. Oh, I had advantage. Come on. My injuries need tending. Spa, ouch. She has a boo-boo again. Dragonborn sorcerer. Heck yes. I'm definitely doing a Dragonborn next playthrough, I think. It, in less Dark Elf, but... Mm, but Dragonborn, they look so cool! And they're the new shiny toy that we haven't played in Early Access. Okay. Kaka, motherfucker! I'm coming for you! I'm, I just keep dipping in, pecking them, and then running away again. It seem, seems to be kind of working. Kaka! Flow away! <laughs> oh my god, wait! Wait, how is that wreck up there? How did you get there? Did he, did he teleport? Or am I just... Am I just not noticing anything? No word. Okay. Uh, charge at him, I suppose, and then we'll deal with the other now in the next turn. Ooh! I would rage, but there's only one left. Could you maybe... No, you can't throw this turn. Save it for next turn. Lazelle's not looking good. Draw on your stamina to heal yourself. Mm, I think we will take a short rest after this, so let's use it. Hello, Detox. Welcome on in. I came here because of Kevin's video. Nice job. Wait, really? <laughs> People actually know that was me? I, I have a little credit in the in the description box, and I just assumed that no one would read it. But yeah, I, I'm one of Kevin's editors. I, I edit for Kevin normally, and then... um. Kip, who's the other editor, he had an idea that I could do the little inserts for when he saves and we could make it into a, a cheeky moment with the narrator. So yeah, I just ended up ending up voicing those. So thank you for coming over. Welcome, welcome. Finish him. Oh, juicy. I thought the red caps might surrender after we killed the hag. Mmm, bone cap. Lucky. A beach over here. Let's go to the beach. Action, not reaction. Let's take a short rest. Everyone's looking a bit beaky. There you go. Wind back in my sails. And in it. Something good here, I hope. Hold person scroll. On my way. Another one down here. A little RP-ish. I went bronze dragonborn lightning to lean into the storm sorcerer theme. Oh yeah. Also the customization options for dragonborn are just so cool. The amount of detail you can put into their scales and their horns. I went dragonborn monk, but somehow I managed to pick the facial options that basically make me look like that one shot they love using in Jurassic Park where the velociraptor looks directly at the camera. What, like the... With the head tilt. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The duffiest dragon that ever was. Feared throughout Faerun. Spike trap. Oh, great. Let me go loot this. Yeah, Dragonborn just cool. Okay. 
Okay, everyone group up. I don't like how dark it is. I'm scared. Another trap. Watch out, watch out. Do not step in that. Ooh. Lots of hidden apples for no reason. That's curious. <gasps> yeah. Who has the shovel? Who is the shovel bearer? I think it's Karlak. Oh no, I have it. Karlak, you should dig though, because I'm a bird. Birds can't dig. Blackets will be done. Blacketh. Don't burn yourself. Ooh. And it's not locked. We are blessed. While I'm at it. Easy money. Thank you, thank you. My main at 79 hours is a bard. One of my other five campaigns is the druid at 18 hours. Ah, so you're an altaholic. You're making multiple characters. Love it. I I am stubborn and I'll always be like, I'm playing this character until the very end and then I will make a new character. My thing. Oh, your thing. You are your thingy wingy. Oh, Carla. Let me see the boo-boo. Do you want a plaster? I've got some with Disney Princess on if you want it. Are you okay? Oh, poor Carla. I love how she's a big barbarian and she's like, oh, my finger. Yes. I may or may not have already made three Dragonborn characters. Good choice. I am partial to elves, you know, for some reason. This place is kind of confusing, but it's leading me back to the hag's hut. Ooh, dead people. Ooh, bones. Don't mind if I do. Just wondering if there's anything else hiding around here. Where have I been and not been? I've been all the way down there. That's the, the like, dock. Though I haven't been much over this side. And then that should link back up with where the Mind Flayer ship came down. So let's head this way. I played it two times now and I didn't have any issues in Act 2. Some of the things in Act 3 got ironed out already. Great experience overall. Yeah, like, when I first started playing it, I uploaded the VODs to YouTube. And so many people on YouTube were commenting like, Oh, shame the game is completely broken past Act 1. But I just, I hadn't really heard that much about problems. Um, I don't know if just specific computers have issues with something. But they did patch a lot of things already. Like, they're actively patching anything that's balked, so... And in a game that has this many permutations, there's bound to be bugs. It's it's to be expected. And I'm just impressed they managed to do this at all. Let alone with a couple of bugs slipping in. Mm. You too. Howdy, Don. Glad to be back to your kingdom. Greetings from Canada, the slightly northern highlands. Ah, I hope things are faring well in the Canadian elven kingdoms. Lovely place I'd love to visit sometime. And welcome back to the Wisps. Okay, it's very misty. And everyone's walking. Oh, because of the deep water. Let's just keep going this way. Traps. How considerate. How nice. Apples. These poison apples must come in useful for something later. Surely. Hello? Ooh, there's blood. Let's move. I'm gonna go in as a bird. Oh, a loot. A bloodbath. Someone, something, made quick work of the place. Whatever it was, was... Sausage! Enthusiastic. Hmm. Oh, wow, I found the sausage mother load. Sausage! What is one druid supposed to do with this much sausage? Throw it at people. That's what. Throw it at people. That might be worth enough. So many salamis. Oh, Karlak. Fetch the shovel. Shy? 
What do you mean can't reach this? It's literally right there. There we go. Why do they bother putting carrots and potatoes and sausage in a chest? And there's only 48 gold. Sleight of hand successful. What did you do? What did you do? What are you up to? Let's ride. Can I jump up here? No. No. Okay. Let's keep adventuring through the putrid bog. We love the putrid bog. Why was that a sleight of hand? No one's watching. It's not stealing if no one's watching. They left it unattended. They clearly don't care. Can I go through this way? I can. There's a waterfall over here. No, you shall not pass. Oh, oh, I shall actually. Ah, and this links up with the river and the waterfall in the forest by the Owlbear's Den. Is that where we are? Yeah. And then Blighted Village is there. Okay. So does that mean we've almost fully explored the swamp? I haven't explored this area. But I think that might be almost everything. I'm going to go back and just double check. There's no other paths I haven't seen. I've got a long road ahead. Down, down, down by the river. Down, down, down by the river. This is Hag's house. And then, how did we actually get into here? This place is confusing. The path to the north. Because it's thorny, that's how she hurt her finger earlier. She's got to wear gloves. It's not the way of the barbarian, I suppose. Poor Carly Wacky. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to point at that. Oh, the heck did I get in here? I think it was this way and then there's a path over, here somewhere. Past the dead bodies. I feel like we need to make an exclamation mark a starian command. With how many people come in for the first time and are like, uh, what's a starian wearing? <laughs> Weeping dawn cover when? Dance upon the stars tonight. Dance and something will fade away. Blah, 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 blah. Till you bring the last light down. Hope, love, all remind me of your face. Yes, I did it there. There's your cover. Oh, why is there just random meat? Oh, I mean... I'll take it. We're always hungry. Uh, is this an alternative way in? No, we, we've been here, right? Ribbit, yeah. Mr. Frog's there, so we've been there. Valley girl cover when? Wow. That will be quite something to behold. I think you would all block me. Oh, I got an achievement for digging up five chests. Hmm, why are people burying ham? Why? What's wrong with people? Disgusting. They're not even keeping it for their winter stores. Surely it would go moldy over winter. Why? Why would you keep all of that? Why? Why? Hi, Jet. Welcome on in. Saddle up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, ah, this bridge. I don't know if I'm ready for that bridge yet. <laughs> goblins. More gobby goblins. Goblin camp is up here, so I think this is all goblin camp stuff. If Yankee Crash is also somewhere around here. I actually forget where it is. I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah, up there. Kind of wondering what this black spot here is. So if you go roadside cliffs, I'm going to investigate. Didn't realize there was a map. Yeah, there absolutely is. And uh, there is fog, so you can uncover areas. I do need to go and save Halson, but that's kind of like a completing act one kind of thing. So I'm going to wait for a little bit. You love goblins, especially goblins with huge butts. Well, you're in luck because most goblins have absolutely huge, huge bums. Big, big bums, and they cannot lie. You goblin chieftains, you do deny. Ah! I found a starion down here, but I never really checked anything. Oh, there's a scared boar. I can talk no to them. Time to rest. Hello. How you doing, friend? I need a quick word. Away! Away! What's the matter? Calm down, I won't hurt you. You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me. Oh no. Oh. Hey, Isn't come back. Head. Is this a replay for you or your first playthrough? So it's my first playthrough on the live version. I did two playthroughs in early access, but obviously only act one was out. So everything beyond act one is a complete mystery to me. And then for me, early access was quite a while ago that we did both playthroughs. So I'm kind of forgetting some things as well. I forget some of the outcomes of some situations and a lot has changed as well. So first playthrough of live, but I have seen. That looks like a cave over there. I have seen um, what happened during early access as well. That looks like secrets there. Nature failed. Excellent. Are you guys coming? What's the story? I'm a druid and I failed on my nature check. So if you could uh, come and lend a hand, that would be great. I think I discovered your channel when you were doing the evil playthrough. Ah, yes, my kill everyone, murder everyone playthrough, which I will be doing a full Baldur's Gate kill everyone, murder yes. everyone playthrough. Ow. Why is there a rubbish? Lazel, are you going to see whatever it is that's obviously hidden? Come on. Ah. Nice view. Yes, very nice view. There is clearly nothing here at all. There is nothing to find here. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Um. These situations are always annoying because I know there's something here. I don't know what it is because I didn't find this in early access, but it's like when your DM says, do a perception check and usually you know that it's for something in the area, but you don't know exactly what it is. But the only problem in Baldur's Gate 3 is when you come across a situation like this and you know that there is a cave. So it's probably either a hidden treasure trove or a secret tunnel. You know something's there, but your characters don't know something's there at all. Can try Shadowheart? We could try and grab her. I can just swap out my um, party members. I did think, let's just bring Galen Shadowheart here and see how they respond. Okay, stay here, Karlak. Love you, but hey, stay soldier. here. Oh, come on. You I mean do that. mean oh. that. Stay here. One day I'll catch a break. I could grab Shadowheart if you like. I'm not sure she'd like that. She'd probably grab you instead. I love the sassy Something head shakes we get during her conversations, by the way. Like, <laughs> can't say anything without sarcasm. Come join me. 
All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on... Deep grooves in the mud around that rock. Ha! Ah, finally, someone with some brains around here. A scuffed rock. What, what's wrong with the what's wrong with the rock blow up the rock move the rock push the rock you're strong lazel can't be added to inventory can't throw too heavy okay fire maybe uh curious indolence breeds madness Can you move it? There we go. Harper's Notebook. Ooh. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and seal, moon and harp seal. There is frequent mention of sacrilegious activity among a local Salunite sect. Well, Shadowheart's gonna have something to say here. If I take it. I don't know, she doesn't care. She hasn't read it, I suppose. map as well let me give the map and the book to shadow heart i'm ready whatever it takes no nothing special what does the map say this stained ragged map has passed through countless hands a little harp marks an area called moonrise towers with a small inky crescent sketched in the nearby forest. Below the crescent is a more recent scroll. Cash. Okay. Cash of what now? Good to know. Onward, then. Maybe you should ask about her sex appeal. First pun of the day, I think. Although technically I made the first pun today. Better fetch that. I know all about Shadowheart's sex appeal. Uh-huh, I'm sure you do. You've been having some long conversations through the night, I'm sure. Delicious intellect devourer. These rocks look suspicious. Everything looks suspicious. No, there's nothing over there. Hmm. Hidden cash. Wow, it's not so hidden now, is it? How do we get that is the question. Let me go Emerald Grove and then we'll go down from there. We start going a little bit this way. <laughs> Hidden cash. Okay, if I keep going this way. Ah, oh, it's a dirt mound here as well. Oh shit. Karlak has the shovel. Uh. <laughs> too tight. Damn it. I need a shovel. <laughs> okay. Let me go get Karlak. There's a shovel on the dirt part, wait. <laughs> is this the nice tutorial dirt pile? The nice tutorial dirt pile where they give you a free shovel. That's really nice. Okay, that works. That works too. I didn't even see it. Do you still play your actual D&D &D game? Roads Less Traveled is on a bit of a hiatus. So if anyone doesn't know, our DM is one of Bethesda's community managers and she works on ESO, but also Starfields. And so that means that this year has been very, very busy for her. She's been back to back on projects and things. And so she's been really busy. And then it's also been really busy for all the members of our group. Ark uh, has taken on a new job, which is slightly different um, and he's really enjoying it, but it takes a bit more of his time. 
And then apart from that, I mean, me and Kay are busy as always with streamer stuff. So yeah, it's just taking a little bit of a hiatus. It's funny you should mention that because we are currently trying to think of, of when we're going to play together next. So it is coming back at some point, but we might be moving to monthly sessions instead for everybody's schedule. Hmm, nice trap. I don't know why I bother disarming it. It's not in the ground, but okay. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely really needed to do that. Nah, it's fine. It won't do anything. It's, it's just on the ground. F5. Is this? Oh, I haven't been here. Have I? Ah, unless it's the other side of where we found Astarian. Yeah, no, it's the other side. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just walk through the fire one more time. Oh, shit. Can I go down? No. No. For a second there, I thought it was a corridor. I missed the mine flare ship. Been a long time since I've seen it. I wonder. I think Moonrise Towers. Obviously, I, I didn't get there, so I, I think we have to go there from underneath. Shadowheart has levels. She does. We shouldn't be getting into trouble anytime soon, hopefully. I'm just scrounging for loot. F5. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. I'm sensing some sexual tension here. Maybe it's best you bang it out, you two. Come on, we need to be friendly. I think I'm about to finish act two. Oh, enjoy. I'm just trying to see if there was anything on cliffs around here. Ah-ha-ha! This is climbable. Ah. 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 This is new. This this is new. I'm, I'm gonna no, go and bird scout. This. Never wanted the easy path. I'm bird scouting. Have you chatted with Raphael yet? I, I can't remember how I remember Raphael, but Ravi Raphael's a devil man. But I can't remember the context of Raphael. That's all I remember about him. Devil man. Sorry, that's probably a bit racist. Tiefling. Horny bastard. Can crows climb ladders? Oh my god, they can. What the heck happened here? Oh, right. This is where they, they watched us from when the ship crashed. Okay. Where's this cache then? Is that a hidden cache? Is it hidden? That, that, that might have been the hidden cache. Not very well hidden. What's but... hiding here? You were right about Devil Man, but not a tiefling. Ah, Rocky Crevice. Ah, my God, what is? Oh, not the spiders. Ah, uh, peck him, peck him. They only have six health apiece. Well, I said we weren't going to get into trouble, but we are now in trouble. Come on, everyone. Come on, we'll just throw a fireball in there. It'll be fine. An efficient path. Even bears can climb ladders. They're very advanced. Okay, I would rush in. This is your end. Yeah. Action search. Smack it. Yeah. Nothing important is ever easy. 
Oh, why am I looting on my turn? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay. Let's dance, Starry. Oh, I love this music so much. <laughs> Am I right in thinking that the battle music changes when you're closer to a victory? Or if you're struggling, the music changes. So, like, this is the victory version? As far as I can gather. To let up. Bum, bum, bum. Sounds pretty generic. It's a little bit happier than the usual combat music. Because the usual combat music is oh, ba -da, ba -da. but that only really happens when we're underground or in certain enemy camps. It might depend on the difficulty of the creatures we fight as well. Yeah, poga babi. I'm leaving. Time to press ahead. Bye. Let's have some courage. No escape. Well, perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Here we go. Rocky crevice. Is there anything in the rocky crevice? If I... Wild shape again. Hmm. Let's go see. What's small enough to get in the rocky crevice? Cat? Cat, Cat will work. Can you go in? Come on. Hey, puss puss. No? Nothing in the rocky crevice? No? Are you sure? Okay. None of these spiders had anything good on them. Sad times. Can you have a skeleton in your party? Because if you can, then I will buy the game. And I have someone you'd probably like to meet. He can't be in the party. That I know of. But, um, this boy over here is our bony boy. Fate Withers. spins along as it should. He's a, a merchant, if Dost you will. Dost thou require a new ally? A peddler of souls. Or mayhaps a resurrection instead. No, I don't. I just wanted to show everybody how beautiful you are, Withers. Have a nice day. Meow. Hey, Ben. Welcome, welcome. Well, this is kind of like a skeleton, but you can't add him to your party. You can animate dead when you get level five or six. Yeah, exactly. If you if you spec more into the necromancy side of things, you can you can have some dead that you raise. Cleric, spore druid, or bard. Oh, you can you can do stuff with dead people as a spore druid. I thought it was more just disease. Withers is the sex appeal. I mean, I have no doubt that, that there is like a whole section of the fan base that is thirsting for withers. A well chewed ball in oh, his mouth. you got a ball? Hand that over. Let him keep it. Why, why would you take it? Throw it for him, if anything. Bards. I just bought it. Wow, I feel like an influencer. <laughs> but yeah, those bards. They're, they're very cool. And you actually do play the songs. Take the ball, play fetch. Yeah, but I don't want to take it off him. I've already played fetch with him. I've already, like, I had a ball in my inventory and we threw it for him and he loved it. But if he likes the ball and he's very possessive of it, he can keep it. He deserves it. I think there are eight or nine battle music tracks, but no idea what the conditions are. It must be based on the toughness of enemies, because that was, like, the squishiest of squishy enemies ever. And it was quite a merry tune, but when you get into a fight with, like, the hag or the spider queen, you get some very epic music. Yeah, you actually can. You can play fetch. We played fetch with him. He's he's a good boy. I wanted to see if I could because I had a ball in my inventory and I tried it and it just works. As with a lot of things in this game, you think, no, that can't possibly work. And then it does. But Humes, I'm going to do a big save because you know what time it is. I, I think it's probably time. The sensible thing to do would be to save for today because we did the whole of, of the swamp and uh it is done and i think the next place i'm gonna go is the githyanki crash which is all the way up here and then we free halson <laughs>